Washing machines live longer with Calgon and Dexter. Dexter's here helping me today. Dexter, are you going to help with the wash? No? Are you going to sit in the sink? Okay, right, okay. Hello, welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. So we are going to be doing a live video today using this Bulgarian powder that I've had for absolutely ages. And I've decided today that we are going to do some tests on it. So there we go. We have the Bulgarian powder. We are going to be doing a 60 degree hygiene wash with a medic rinse. And we're going to be doing wipes. Okay, so let's first of all load the machine with the appropriate white goods. Now I have a test for it which I will show you in a second. Uh, there it is. There is a white hand towel there which is full of stains. Hey Carl, hey hey Jake, hello. Edward, hello. So that's what we're going to be testing to see if it'll get rid of these stains on this white hand towel. I'm just going to pop in the rest of the whites. Which mainly consists of unmentionables, socks, towels. Uh, this is another hand towel here, but to be able to know which one it is, I'm going to cut the label. So the test towel is already in there. There's also coffee stains all over my shorts there. So we'll see if we can get rid of the coffee stain. And to make sure that we are just testing at the right towel, I'm gonna to remove half this label. So we know we've got the right one. And one sock. And, well, it's not technically a white, but it'll go in anyway, it's white enough. Okay, so, that is the load-in. All tucked in. Ready for bed. We're going to shut the door. And, like I said, this is the powder that we're going to be using that I got from Amazon, which is from Bulgaria. So, I'm going to open the box there. And let's have a sniff. Um, it's not super fragranced, I have to say. It does smell fresh. But it's not super fragrant, so maybe that will change. So, what cycle are we going to be doing? Oh, Dexter's with us today. Dexter? Dexter. Are you going to be the washing machine kitty today? Huh? Right, let's turn it on. Hey, Toji, your Wi-Fi is probably being funny again. No, I'm not on Wi-Fi. I'm on 4G. So let's go to hygiene, 60, intensive wash, 1400. And we're going to be doing a medic rinse. All right. So medic rinse intensive provides more purity for that. And, oh yeah, we need to put the powder in. <laughs> so let's open the drawer. Let's put in. Powder. Very, very fine. Now we are going to put in some Calgon. 
And I know what you're all going to say. Oh, my God, you put in fabric softener with towels. But I don't care. We're going to be using Lenore Mystery Parfum de Secret. There we go. Let's close it up. Let's press play. So it's detecting the load. Dexter is sitting in the sink. Dexter. Uh, load size small. Three hours and 21 minutes. Ooh, today's gonna be a long vlog, everybody. I hope you're all settled down. Get your popcorn. Popcorn. And let's see how it goes. I am now gonna go onto my iPad so I can look at your comments. Right, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, Carl Gamer, hi. Um, Jaga, Ale, Edward Byrne, Washing Boy, Jorge Vega, Sup Luvalux, Jev the PG Tips, hey. Elephant26, hello Dorian, Jev, uh, Toji, this was a bit short notice, I know, I like to keep you all on your toes. Uh, Carl, that, not me, I'm only a little boy age 12. Toji, what's wrong, Jake? Jev, we got a new washing machine, it's a Bosch Max 6. Oh, that sounds nice, I like Bosch. Toji, Dorian, your Wi-Fi is probably being funny. Carl, I finally got a Bissell broom. E oh, excellent. Jev, meow. Evolution, I got Bosch Max 6 last month, unfortunately not had much luck with it. Washing boy, do care. Edward, I feel, I have a feeling it'll be three or four hours. Well, pretty much, yes, 3.20. Toji, with this cycle doing four rinses, it'll really test the algae's rinsing performance, yes. Jorge, get an American Bissell vacuum. Jev, Leno is nice. Edward, blue Leno, I love. Toji, your LG is, your 4G is rubbish. Jev, uh, where do you shop to? Uh, this one I got on Amazon. I got it months ago. Two hours 20. Oh, you were just one hour out. Uh, Edward, I said that. The coal master. Oh no, I missed a little bit. I was putting my washing out. Louise, hello Dorian, I hope you and Happy Lux are well. Yes, we are very well. Thank you very much, Louise. Hugs to you and Brad. Uh, Toji, detected a half load of six kilograms. Jev, I was sick last night and today. Oh no, I hope you're feeling a bit better. Yeah, Jorge, who you? Yo, Hoovalux, do you have gain in your area? Gain is a detergent. I have heard of it, but I've never used it, and I can't recall ever seeing it anywhere. Washer fan 53, finally. Right, so we're starting off with the glass temperature at 21.2 degrees Celsius, 70.5 Fahrenheit. That's our starting off temperature.
Uh, Edward Gain is American. That's where I've seen it. Toji, Dorian, I might have to charge up my phone in a little while. No worries, my friend. Evolution Bros, this machine is great. I used to have an LG 8 kilogram, found it was very good. Um, I haven't had many complaints on this apart from the balancing can be a bit of a bitch on times. Uh, washing body, will you do an LG pillow wash live stream? Uh, possibly at some point, but my pillows are just fine at the moment. <coughs> Toji, I'm going to get some chocolate ice cream now, yummy. Ah, oh, you lucky duck. So we are starting the wash. Everything seems fine. Three hours and eight minutes, 18 minutes left. I can see a little bit of foam. Plenty of room in the washer for the tumble action. So that's pretty good. And there we go. Now it's doing its I think it's called filtration, is that correct, Toji? Mark, another one that I'm going to have to watch later, I'm afraid. Oh, fortunately, after this weekend, I'll be on holiday, so I'll have no excuses for missing these. I'll go now before anyone says anything. <laughs> We're all friends on here, Mark. We're all friends. It's all positivity and sunshine. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Jake, I came back from a lovely four-day trip from Egypt, went on Sunday night. My wife was hoovering with the Kirby upstairs and I was just about to go downstairs when I tripped over Kirby and fell down the... Oh no, you didn't. Washing boy, are you going to do bed wash live stream on the LG? Uh, yeah, I will do one day. I've actually just done my bedding, unfortunately, last week. So, um, I'm just doing the laundry that I have to do. Edward, line or tumble after? Um, I am going to put the majority of this on the line, especially the towels, just to dry outside for a bit. Um, and then, um, and the shirt. And then I'm going to finish it off then in the tumble dryer, just to give it a bit of an airing. Jake stairs and broke my arm so i'm doing just fine oh my god i can't believe you have just fallen down the stairs well not just now but you've fallen down the stairs and broken your arm oh my god toji yes indeed you are correct orion the distribution wash is indeed cold filtration yes get in there i am practically a toji master toji you are the master Because of that bloody Kirby. <laughs> it's not my fault, girlfriend. <laughs> Louise, I'm not very happy as one ear is better now. The other is infected too. The pain is intolerable. Oh my gosh. I remember last time you were saying about a ear infection. Now you've got it in both ears. Oh my gosh. So we will test the power of this Bulgarian powder with the stains. Uh, what I'm going to do actually oops, is pop the Bulgarian powder here in view. anybody watching can see oh he's using Bulgarian powder more. 
Now we did actually speak to somebody a short time ago and who was from Bulgaria so hopefully he will be watching today and we'll see what we do in a Bulgarian product. Toji, Dorian, you know that Instagram group chat that we are both in, yes? The people in the chat hate Bosch. <laughs> uh, washing boy, Omi LG Select Program. Uh, Jake, bashed my head on the wall and I was just about to put a load of washing on, so I'm sitting with a sling on and feet up in the living room. Oh my god. So you've got your sling up and a bashed head. Jake, you need to just wrap yourself in cotton wool, I think. Ba, 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 ba. Louise Sturton, I can barely hear anything Brett keeps having to shout at me and tell to turn the TV down. <laughs> Jake, but how about, how are you? I'm, thank you very much, the first person to ask, how am I? I am very well, thank you very much, Jake. I have been super busy this week doing lots of refurbs. Um, I was just finished a Hoover Turbo Power 2, um, which caused me huge headache with the motor, but I finally got it all back together. Uh, there was a lot of reinforcing and gluing, which obviously takes time to do. So just that one machine has taken me all week because most of it has been waiting for things to dry um but i'm really well jake i have to say very very good very good mentally physically and generally evolution bros my favorite washer is still the hot point wma series lasted 15 years my one didn't do too bad as well for lasting. Edward, I would think it was Arabic powder, not Bulgarian, if you didn't say. Well, to be honest, um, I'm quite familiar with Arabic writing, so I knew that it wasn't Arabic. Um, so I was like, it's definitely got to be something like Eastern European, something like that. But then I found out then it was Bulgarian. Jorge Vega, Hoverlux, do you have a Jack's powder cleanser? Uh, no, I don't. Um, after working in McDonald's and having to Ajax with powder, all the uh, metal things constantly, day in, day out, all those years ago, completely put me off Ajax powder. <laughs> Steve Jones, do you prefer liquid or powder detergents? On longer washes, I now prefer powder detergents. On short washes, quick washes, definitely liquid. Uh, Louise, did you get your Instagram problem sorted out? Well, I don't know. I didn't think there was anything wrong with just, you know, a little bit of cheeky, hairy, hunky men. I mean, it was hardly pornographic or explicit, but there we go. Uh, the thing about it is as well is the photographs didn't I, I didn't actually upload the photographs from somewhere to Instagram these were actual existing posts on Instagram that I just shared on my story so if they were that bad why on earth were they on Instagram in the first place but never mind hey ho Toji the 1600 spin WMA, WMM machine can't do 1600 RPM for more than one second because the brushes aren't strong enough to handle 1600 for more than a second. Oh, right. I didn't know that. <clears throat> Edward Byrne, I heard your hoover had a visitor, Dorian. Yes, it did. It had a mouse in a house with clogs on it. Washing boy, how are you today, Mr. Lux? Washing boy, I am very good, thank you. Oh, there is motion detected at the front door. 
Jake, I'm having eight months off work, but uh, we'll do some decorating in the house. Eight months? Eight months, you can get your ass up here and do some videos with me, Jake. We can do some Kirby videos. So get up to Grantham. Washing by. Uh, will you do a twin tub live stream? Uh, yes, once I finish the rolls, I will definitely. And I still need to dig out the Hot Point Supermatic Deluxe. Evolution Bros. Toad George, I had the 1400 model so it could spin for one minute on Cotton 60 program. But any other program, it was like 10 seconds. Uh, that's the thing I found disappointing. Ah, uh, right, okay, like he said. Uh, Louise, I have absolutely no problems with hunky guys either. Don't tell Brett. <laughs> I won't, I promise. But anyway, I, 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 I just... I don't know, I just thought it was a bit kind of like postcard cheeky, a little bit of my, kind of like my personality. I didn't think it was um, anything wrong, but there we go. Steve Jones, Dorian, how do you like the Dyson Multifloor 2? Oh my gosh, Steve, which one is that? I have no idea. Is that the, is that the cylinder one? I'm rubbish with names of Dysons. Absolutely rubbish. Edward Burney, you're amongst hunky guys now, Louise. Girl. Edward, you're just too hot for the show. Steve Jones, it's yellow. Motion detected at the front door. Is that the one that uh, looks like a scuba diving tank? Two tanks. Is that the one you're on about, Steve? The cylinder one. <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> Steve Jones, it's a yellow upright. I'm thinking of getting a refurbished model. All oh, right, okay. Is what, the multi floor? What is that? Is that it? What DC is that? DC what? Um, Evolution Bros. I've uh, I've have two washing machines in my house now because my dad kept blaming me for breaking it. <laughs> Uh, Jake Alley, is that a ring doorbell as I'm looking to buy one? Are they good? Uh, yes, go and check out my video on mine. I did an unboxing and full installation video. Uh, Jake, so please do go check it out. I personally think it is bloody brilliant. Check the temperature. Uh, we are on 25.6 degrees Celsius, 78.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Jake, okay, we'll have a look. Yeah, definitely. Go and check them out, Jake. They're brilliant. Um, Jake, do you already have a doorbell fitted to your house? which is connected to the power of the house. Do you know what I mean? Evolution Bros, what's your favorite washer, Hooverlux? Um, I would like one of those LG ones you can get in America with the, it's the two washing machines. So you get the bottom one, the, the drawer one you pull out at the bottom and then the big one at the top. Um, I think it's about a 17 or 18 kilogram machine. I would love one of them. Oh my gosh, I would love one of them. Uh, the reason why I was asking Jake is because um, in our house, we have the doorbell, which is um, which is electrically connected, if you know what I mean. So that means that when you use the ring doorbell, um, it connects up to that, so you don't have to keep recharging it. It uses the power um, from the mains 
to actually keep the thing charged so you don't have to keep checking the battery life on it which I personally find is very very good <clears throat> um, otherwise you have to charge it up I think every month or so I'm not really sure how long it lasts but uh, yeah Jake I, I mean there are other ones on the market um, I've only ever used that one because it was given to me to as a gift from my Amazon wish list so um, yes washing body uh, with I can select uh, can I select LG program on the live stream normally I don't do that because it is washing that I'm going to be doing anyway and I have my own particular way of doing laundry so not really no Edward Americans washer and dryers are so fast at laundering and drying laundry uh, that's because the dryers are so hot normally <laughs> I'm not a fan of American tumble dryers because I prefer the one that I have that is far far economical on the energy consumption the lower temperatures <coughs> and basically just the energy use but I do like the American washing machines I would love to have one of those big ass American top loaders but I would like the one with the paddle in the middle I'm not really one for having the um, like the LG one stuff like that I'm not really fussed on that I don't think they wash very good Evolution Bros. Cool, I like them too. You get so much in them. Right, I tune in later. Got to go back to work. Bye. Okay, mate, see you later. We're going to be here for another three hours and two minutes. So, see you on your next break. Don't know how they're not in belly tops. So, washing boy. Um... Yeah, the, uh, uh, the big Samsung washers. Yes, I, I have seen the big Samsung washers as well. I definitely wouldn't say no to one of them either. Steve Jones, Dorian, they featured that LG dual wash on the TV show This Old House a few months ago. Ah, yeah, they do seem to be quite popular uh, in big houses, in American houses. They do seem very, very popular. Which surprises me, um, because every time I see a video on a front loader, I'm like, uh, in, on in something American, I'm like, for God's sake, leave the door open. Let it breathe. J <coughs> Jake Alley, yes, I do indeed have a mains powered doorbell. Jake just got up and checked, I assume, and yes, so you'll be fine. So when you, pull, when you, um, Put it in jake um just take a look at my video to be honest it'll be easy to explain take a look at my full extensive installation video <laughs> toji why would you love an lg top loader they are rubbish no exactly no i don't want an lg top loader i do think they are rubbish and more strangely they have six motion as well what a load of rubbish i i have to agree to uh, toji because um, if I was going to have an American top loader, it would have to be one with the um, agitator in the middle. Jake, okay. Coolio. So I've been really, really busy this week making videos. Um, oh, I got a video coming out tonight at nine o'clock. It's called Doggy Bath. Um, it's a video of me uh, giving the three dogs um, a bath. It's quite funny to see. Um, it's always nice to see the dogs and I thought you guys haven't seen the dogs for ages. So the video goes out tonight at nine o'clock. So you can watch me wash the doggies. I've got to show you this a second. I'm just going to remove you from here because Joey is outside and he's just lying there. He looks like a, he looks like, he looks like bag puss. <laughs> it's a 
funny old grumpy cat is that Joey? Edward, your water bill will be sky high with top loaders. Good job I don't have water bills. Uh, yeah, they do consume a lot more water. I, I do agree, yes. But normally the capacity on them is pretty big anyway. I, I don't know. But yeah, they do use more water, I agree. Jake. Oh, yes, Dorian. I know you love nice smells. Well, you must buy a Yankee Candle plug-in. Mine smells amazing. It's pink sand scent. Ah, well, to be honest, I bought one of those. Uh, I bought a couple, actually. They are the Glade plug-in uh, heated ones that you put the wax melts on. Um, because they were a hell of a lot cheaper than buying the entire thing from Yankee. Um, and I can put in Yankee Candle melts in them. Um, I pick them up for I pick the melts up from Asda sometimes if they're on offer. I just pick up a few. Um, so yeah, it was cheaper for me to buy the Glade one, um, and then I can use other melts in it. Washing boy, I'm so angry this week. Why? What's happened? Steve Jones, Joey had a rough night at the pub. <laughs> he looks like it, Steve. Washerfan53, do you like the smell? Uh, what do I like the smell of, um, Washerfan? I do like the smell of Yankee Candles. There's also another brand of candles I like as well, which is called Village Candles. Um, they're kind of like a knockoff of Yankee Candles. Um, they're pretty good. Some of the some of the smells aren't so good as Yankee, and others I've some of them um, are just as good or even better. Uh, this detergent, yeah, I do like the smell on it. It's not it's not very strong, so I won't be able to tell until. Um, the laundry comes out of the washing machine, but I do like stronger smells on my laundry, and I know a lot of people don't. Um, I just do it. I just do. So we got two hours and 56 minutes left and we are at 33.5 centigrade, 92.3 Fahrenheit. So on the hygiene, the heater seems to work faster. Jake, no, this is different. It has a bottle full of oil and small diffuser, which you click together. Uh, yeah, no, no, I've seen them. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I find them more expensive. Edward, the dryer takes away the nice, the, the smell after. Uh, I think it depends, Washer Fan 53, I think it depends on what detergent I've used. Like, for example, if I use a detergent which doesn't have much smell to begin with, then yes, definitely. Um, if I use a detergent like the Daz, or if I use something which has got a pungent smell on it when it comes out of the tumble dryer, I can still smell it a bit. Washer Fan 53, mine used to suds up a lot more, so look like they improved their formula. Um, no, I th it's because this this doesn't use a lot of water, so you're not going to get a lot of foam. If I was to add more water to this, it would foam to buggery. Washing boy, because not done dark wash on my uh, book net. 
Toji, if you still have the smell of powder on your clothes, even if the powder smells good, it's not very good because then you will be wearing clothes with small traces of detergent. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> ah, Gelin David, hello, hello, my friend, how are you? So as you can see, the clothes are wet. There's lots of recirculation. There's lots of detergent passing through the clothes and water. So they're getting, you know, they're getting washed very, very well. But if I was to add water to this, it would get very, very foamy. Jake, I only use method fabric softener and bowl two in one lavender liquid detergent. I only use liquid detergent. <gasps> Jake, your poor machine. Toji. Oh, and Dorian, LG always uses enough water, and that amount is a lot to begin with. Yeah, it is enough. It is definitely enough. I won't go rogue today, Toji, I promise. I will not add more water because I want to give it a true test of this detergent. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, my pussy is in the way. You need to give your pussy a trim. Oh, moving on. Washing Boy, do you like Dire Straits Group? I like a few of their songs. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm an absolute fan, but I do like some of their songs. Wash a fan 53, it's pronounced easy. Ah, right, okay, so I'm using easy Bulgarian detergent today. Jake, but I do a 90 degree wash once a week. Phew. Phew. Good boy, Jake. Still, you should stick in a bit of powder. <laughs> oh, God. Toji, the, the so called fact that liquid buggers up the machine is a load of rubbish. Toji, I don't necessarily. I'm going to have to disagree with you there because. When I had my other hot point and I was only using liquid detergents, the machine was a bit gungy. As soon as I started using powdered detergents on the hot washes, that went away. Um, Edward, not that pussy, the four-legged kind, I know. Mr. Laundry 101, I use every kind of detergent, liquid, gel, tab, pods, sheets. <gasps> Do you know, I'd like to try one of the sheets. Mr. Laundry 101, all my machines are still shiny. But I bet you use some high temperature washes. Washing boy, uh, are you going to do the dryer live stream? No, not today. It's too long. This is a three hour. It's going to be a three and a half hour vlog, so not going to be too long. I need to have my dinner after this. Mr. Laundry, I've done about 560 degree today. Yeah, that's pretty hot enough to, I reckon, to keep it kind of nice and clean. I think it seems to be the ones where they use the lower temperatures. I, I used to be the same. I only used to use the lower temperatures with liquid. Try Tide Pods. Yeah, I've got some of them, wash and buy. Edward Byrne, both liquid and powder ruin machines because we overuse it. Do maintenance, wash regular uh, with whatever you use. Yeah, that's good advice as well. I mean, I'm no expert. I'm only going by the advice from a washing machine engineer who is his job, who has a huge, successful, very successful YouTube channel and is an engineer in commercial and domestic washing machines, collector and restorer. Washing boy, yeah, try that, yes. As you know, last week I did the uh, maintenance wash on it because the machine had asked me to, so that was pretty good. 
Mr. Laundry 101, the Miele model I kind of want is £2,200. Oh my God, what is it? Is it like a big capacity, like a, like a commercial machine? Uh, Jake, my machine doesn't get mouldy, which is strange as I normally use 50 degrees uh, to 95 degrees on my Miele. Still 50 degrees is a warm temperature. It's when people, like my mum, for example, she never uses anything above 30. Uh, Law, Mr. Laundry 101, uh, WWV 980. Washer fan 53, do you like the Mila you have now? I think you must be talking about Mr. Laundry. Nine kilograms, sixteen hundred steam Wi-Fi auto dosing, power wash Wi-Fi touchscreen. <coughs> I still think that's a bit expensive. Uh, Toji, Dorian, I assume you were on about Chris, aka the Laundry Center. Yes, I am. Mister Laundry, yes, I like my Mila J Galley. Really, only a thirty. I know she's terrible. Are terrible quick washes at 30 with liquid constantly don't ask I I've given up <clears throat> washing boy uh, I don't use my book necked powder I use pods all oh, right oh so this um, Mr. Laundry 101 it's only done 950 hours even though it's from the 2013 range only 10 percent of what they're designed to do wow that's really cool i guess though because you have other machines is that right mr laundry 101 that the usage on it is lower uncle nolly oh drat you started i'm stuck on the a1 with a boot full of washing the A1, what do you... Oh, do you mean the A1 where you live or do you mean the A1 where I live? Girl, come on in for a cup of tea. Edward Byrne, cotton 60 on my candy, ain't hot wash, docks and jeans on it and fine. Is that normal? I don't know, I only go by the recommendation that um, when I switch on the dark cycle, it would only come on like 20 degrees but i normally up at 30 mr laundry 101 now nah, i just bought it apparently used by half people uh for f one to two people for five years oh, okay washing by no mr laundry 101 you may be selecting the eco cycle by accident it heats to around 50. Let's check the temperature now. We are up to 40 degrees centigrade, 105 Fahrenheit. And we've still got two hours and 46 minutes left. Mr. Laundry, I got rid of my Bosch. Bish Bash Bosch. Uh, Edward Byrne, the water is lukewarm after I felt it as it was draining. Washing boy, my bulk necht, very dirty tub and drum. Jake, I paid £1,149 for my Miele. It's a 10 kilogram and it has the auto dosage system, but I don't use it as the refills are too expensive. Oh, d um, can't you use any other type of liquid in them, uh, Jake? Mr. Laundry 101, don't forget those lasers aren't always accurate. Inside is always hotter too. Yeah, no, that's why I always call it the glass temperature. Mr. Laundry 101, as far as I know, Mila don't do 10 kilograms. You can buy spare compartments to fill yourself. All oh, right, okay, that's good to know. Maybe Jake um, could get them.
Jake, I'm not sure. I've only added two days. Oh. <laughs> there we go, Jake. There's your answer. You can buy the... Um, you can buy the spare compartments to fill yourself. If you... Jake, uh, Mr. Andre, only because the normal twin doors don't have refill holes. Ah. That's a bit of a swizz. I wouldn't buy the auto doors, auto doors personally myself because I prefer to use different powders depending on the mood I'm in. So um, I wouldn't buy an auto doors personally myself. I prefer to add my own powder and liquids and stuff. There's an American channel that I watch and for the love of me, I'm trying to remember what it is. It's American. It's a guy with a moustache. Looks like he's got a porn tash. And the name of the channel is like, it's unusual. It's like the name of a store. Um, and he does videos on LGs and he takes them apart. Um, I like his channel. Washing boy, please help me, my How to clean my bulk neck tub and drum can anyone give him some advice i have no idea is that a front loading machine mr laundry my beko is auto dose it's okay for softener and quick and go loading but i change detergents too much yeah me too jake uh no sorry just checked it's a nine kilogram mr laundry select cotton 90 use citric acid and add more water but be careful not to add too much. Um, it'll sense overfill and drain. Uh, oh, is that the one who reviews all the American ones? Yeah, I think so, Mr. Laundry. He's American. Um, oh, God, I wish I could remember the name of the bloody channel. It's It's got about four or five names on it. I can't remember the name. Hang on a second. I'm going to have a look because it's bugging me now. I'm a subscriber to it. I've got about 90 channels that I'm subscribed to. So I'm, I'm, I'm still looking through D. You'll probably find it now by the time I have. Oh, I can't find it. It's on. I am subscribed to it. I can't find it now. That's it. <coughs> That's it. That's the one. Lorraine something, yeah. I told you you'd find it before I did. Um, Edward Burns. Spray mould and mildew spray all around drum and seal. Leave for 30 minutes, then a hottest, longer cycle. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that, Edward. That's a really good idea. Mould and mildew spray. Um, it wouldn't do too much damage to the rubber, I guess, because you use it on the seals around baths and showers. 
Miss Laundry, yes, it's Lorraine, that's it. Lorraine's Furniture, that's it. Lorraine, whoops. Uh, hi, Dorian, what cycle are we doing? How long's left? We are doing a Hygiene 60 with a Medic Rinse. And we got two hours and 39 minutes left. Um, Mr. Laundry, <laughs> me, Lorraine, Jesus, my spelling, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Edward, Hygiene at 63 hours, 20 cycle. Washing load, yes, front load, my bulk next. I don't know. I'm the next time I need to um to do my um washing machine uh for a tub clean cycle, I'm gonna use um I'm gonna use some um dishwasher tablets. Um so yeah, whatever you use, whether you use a product or if you use citric acid or if you use soda crystals and white vinegar or whatever just a high temperature i think should clean it out uh toji dorian i have something to tell you tell me toji tell me jake uh but i'm not happy with the meal as when it was delivered friday it had scratches all over the door i've emailed john lewis and partners are waiting for them See, now that's the reason why I got mine so cheap was, was because of something like that that had happened to it. So send it back, girl, and I'll buy it second hand. Mr. Laundry, I would have sent it back straight away. Uncle Nolly, are you doing a second load? I've got a boot full of washing, but I'm stuck on the A1. Bring it back, girl. We'll do a, we'll do a wash load together, Uncle Nolly. Bring it, bring it here. Toji, why would he do that? He paid over a thousand pounds for it. I'd send it back. I, I wouldn't have accepted it if I was paying over a thousand pounds for one. No way. I'd want it absolutely mint. Mr. Laundry, send it back for a replacement. Yep, washing boy, thanks. Edward Byrne, that mould and mildew spray is so strong. Might need to do another wash empty uh, to rid the smell. I guess if you put some extra rinses on it, Edward, wouldn't that be all right? Mr. Laundry, my integrated Becco had its drain hose ripped off by my installer. Becco came out and said I can have a new one. Oh, that's good. Toji, oh, Dorian, about that something I have to say. Well, yep, tell me. Uncle Nolly, it's the sports kit from the rugby club. It's real dirty. Is that okay? Absolutely. As long as I can have a quick sniff before I put it in the washer. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Uh, but yeah, but we can do a sportswear wash. I still haven't done a sportswear wash on it yet. Is it full of stains? Uh, Toji, I finally have a girlfriend. Oh my God. Tell me more. Exactly, Edward. Spit it out, Toji. I want to know everything. Edward Byrne. Another one. I don't know anything about a previous one, but... Uncle Nolly. A sportswear wash? You? Exactly. Girl, that's why I've never used it. <laughs> no, not another one. This is my first one, Mr. Burns. <gasps> Mr. Burns is just... So rude. <laughs> Mr. Laundry, told you you'll need a Mila, otherwise she'll leave. Edward, he did. He was scared of her. No, if, if it's the one we're on about, he wasn't scared of her. It was just, she's so far away and, well, there we go. Toji, thanks for that, Lucas. Please like and share my videos on my channel. Share them on your social media we are so close to getting 3,000 subscribers and then I can unbox that pneumatic Henry every morning I wake up 
I come downstairs into the kitchen and he is tapping on the inside of that box, asking for the subscriber count, begging to get out, to be released, to be used. Toji, I'm not in The Simpsons. Okay. Uh, thanks for that, Lucas. Toji, Dorian, let's just say that my, that my GF, she's an angel. Aww. I'm so happy, Toji. Edward Byrne, Toji, I'm not in The Simpsons. Mr. Laundry, why want a relationship when you can have a mealer? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Louise, my football team, Dundee, won uh, today 4 1. Get in there, Dundee! Toji, why can't I want both exactly? Jake, yes, that's what I've emailed them, but they are normally quite good at responding. I'm begging for my arm to get better. I cannot believe that you fell down the stairs tripping over that Kirby. I'm just... I can't believe it. Oh! Louise, Brett has now subscribed to you. Yay! We're getting closer to 3,000. We can unbox that pneumatic. Toji, Edward, it's my nickname for you. Mr. Burns, yeah, he, he says that every week, um, um, Edward. He says that every week, called you Mr. Burns. Jake, I just got to go feed the dog. Is that a euphemism for, like, feeding the chucks? <laughs> um, Louise, Dundee United, not Dundee. Sorry, I didn't realise there were two. Dundee United, whee! Mr. Laundry 101, Toji, me, Mila's on again. Jake, 3,000 is a lot. <gasps> I know, tell me about it. It's incredible, I cannot believe it. Toji, what cycle, Lucas? Edward Byrne... Um, unhappy faces? That's not unhappy faces. I don't think it's Mr. Byrne from Simpsons. I think he just calls you Mr. Byrne. Is that correct, Toji, or am I being naive? Mr. Laundry, automatic water plus short, 58 minutes estimated. It's going to sense load to change wash timetables, levels, and interim spins. Mr. Jetta, 985. I like my Miele Professional. It's so fast. It uses two heaters, but I like your LG also a lot because I had um, uh, I had for years a washer dryer. All oh, right, okay, that's really good. The Miele Professional with the two heaters that would get the temperature really fast. Yes, it is correct, Orion. Yeah, so it's you're not calling him Mr. Burn from The Simpsons. You're just calling him Mr. Burn. Jake, my, yes, Sasha, my golden retriever cross dash hound. How the hell did a golden retriever do it with a dash hound? And even more, how the hell did a dash hound do it with a, da a golden retriever if it was the other way around? I don't want to know. Um, Maxiety should have watching the clothes go round by the pretenders playing in the background. <laughs> You're probably right, but I'd probably get a copyright strike. <laughs> I'm the great pretender. Ooh, ten and one and one, one and one. All right, let's check the temperature. <gasps> 52.3 centigrade, 126.1 Fahrenheit. Jake, I still have at the moment an old Bosch that still works, but needs to go. Oh, Jake, send it up to me. Uh, Mr. Jetta 985, very nice tumbles. Yeah, I quite like the tumbles in this machine. I really do. Um, 
I mean, the clothes are wet. The detergent is being recirculated from the bottom of the sump with the recirculatory system. The temperature is getting hot. There's plenty of room on the inside. Everything's getting moist. Uh, can you show me the display on mine if i press some buttons um it'll show the temperature inside okay hang on a second everybody we're going up to the to the control panel mr laundry 101 mr jetta 985 also a perfect load edward burn why short tumbles I don't know, Jake, uh, the golden retriever was a miniature dog, not sure, I don't want to know, Neil, neither do I, uh, Mr. Jetta, I think because the heater is on. I do notice that um, it does do longer, it, it changes, so I've never thought of it before, but that could be the reason why. No, Dorian, step back from the panel. All oh, right. Okay. Hang on. Like that. Um, Mr. Laundry 101, try holding crease care with any of the bottom options. Try holding crease care. Shit, I almost dropped my iPad. Try holding crease care. Where's crease care? Oh, okay, hang on. It'll show a technical details page if you do the right combo. It's just the combo that you have to find eventually. doesn't like it at all hmm mr laundry hold both at the same time i've tried that so if i hold crease care and wash nothing crease care and temperature nothing crease care and rinse nothing crease care and spin no crease care and that Nope, nothing. Ah, try it when you do the next load when not live. You have to wait for a bit, Dorian. You can't just tap the two buttons. I still can't work out what you're on or how to do it. Try holding crease care with any of the bottom options. Now oh, bugger it. <laughs> I'm just thrashing buttons there. Uh, you have to wait for a bit, Dorian. You can't just tap the two buttons. Okay. There I am, thrashing away. Uh... Mr. Laundry One, I'll send you a video later on how mine does it. Okay, that would be much easier. Thank you. <laughs> G 
Toji, Jesus. <laughs> I'm hard work, Toji, I'm telling you. Mr. Laundry 101 sent a video. Edward, where's Hubby with your tea? Alexa, drop into Scott's study. He's not in the study, he's in the living room watching Star Trek. Scott, yeah. can I have a cup of tea? Yeah. He's in the living room and I'm at the back door. He's in the living room and the patio doors are open, so I don't even need Alexa, I can just shout. Da -da! Louise, do you watch Adam the Woo and Justin Scard? I've never heard of them before. I couldn't figure out why the Kirby vacuum was getting bigger than it was <laughs> Kirby, don't take no shit, Jake. Bickies too. Oh, no, no, no. No Bickies for me. <clears throat> don't forget that I am... What do they call it? Type 2 diabetic. Is Scott a Trekkie? Brett is too. Scott is very much a Trekkie. Very, very Trekkie. Actually, he's not a Trekkie, Louise. He's actually a Trekker. <laughs> Ask Brett and he will know the difference between a Trekker and a Trekkie. Ah, uh, no, you're right there. Mr. Laundry, I know... I knew getting this Mila was a bad idea. Now it's making me want a new one. Edward, I asked that Toji. Bickies too. Uh, Mr. Jetta, 90, uh, 985. I found a new Origin door seal for my old lady, the Hoover Electronic 800. Oh, excellent. You're going to do some videos on it, Mr. Jetta. Mr. Laundry 101, bank account, crying. Jake, I've got home made lasagna tonight with salad. Oh, I love lasagna, Jake. Oh, my God. When you send me your old um, um, washing machine, could you could you pop in a, a lasagna for me too, please? <laughs> Edward Byrne, no, Mr. TG. Toji, is that a problem, Mr. Burns? No, Mr. Toji. Dorian, can you read my last comment, please? Yes, I did. Is that a problem, Mr. Burns? No, Mr. TG. Happy Lux is here. Everyone say hello to Happy Lux. Guess what, Scott? What? Toji's got a girlfriend. What? Well, well, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that was very rude. Uh, not that comment. Okay. Why is it doing short tumbles? What's the glass temperature, Dorian? Okay, hang on. Like someone said, it makes sense that it would do short tumbles to keep the temperature. Uh, 58.9 and 137 Fahrenheit, so it's almost at 60. Dexter! Ah, mm. mm. oh, my little Dexter, he's on my shoulder, I'm giving him kisses. Toji says hello, Jake says hey to Happy Lux. Hello, he says. The one before that. Oh, good grief. Two smiley faces. Jesus. You have to wait for a bit, Dorian. You can't just tap the two buttons. Mr. Jetta. Uh, today arrived the machine dryer from Hoover. Ah. Louise, hi, happy legs. Louise is at a half bread. He's also a tracker. Ah. Yes. One degree to 60. Come on, LG, you can do it. It does normally work um, very good on this cycle. I've done a couple of these um, hygiene cycles this week when I was doing bedding. Um, it'll heat over 60. Probably will, and then um, it... It, I've noticed before that if it goes over temperature, it chucks in a little bit of cold water to bring it down. It's pretty cool. Jake, I've got homemade chocolate brownies with homemade ice cream and salted caramel sauce. <clears throat> Hubby loves a little bit of salty caramel, don't you, Scott? 
He likes a bit of sweet and salty, doesn't he, Scotty? Nope. <laughs> oh, God. He likes a bit of keepy selfie. Mm hmm. Look at those. You can see the um, cat paw prints. I didn't wash them off. Oh, Paws of, of bloody mess all over the front of my washing machine. Yeah, oh, well, I'll have to wait a minute. Uh, Mr. Jet, a very good temperature for a modern machine. Um, it's still yet to reach 95. It'll heat over 60. I've got homemade chocolate brownies. What uh, does Scott like the Kelvin timeline? Uh, not as much as the original timeline. Not as much as the original timeline, Louise. Edward Byrne. Is Toji a foreign name or English, Mr. George? Oh, no, he's completely English. It's just the um, it's just his pseudonym. Uh, yeah, when uh, when I first saw Toji, Toji George, um, I did happen to think that he was like Chinese or something. I'll tell you what movie came to my head when Toji reminded me of um, uh, Big Hero 6. Uh, Jake, or carrot cake, oh yeah. Do you like carrot cake or do you prefer chocolate brownies? Carrot cake, he prefers Jake. Cream cheese icing, cream cheese icing please. Um, Jake is going to send it up with uh, his old washing machine for us. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> um, Samsung TV, hello. Toji, I don't even know because it's not my real name, Mr. Burns. Edward Bur little Chinese guy. <laughs> Edward Burns, oh no, it's Noah. Mr. Laundry, I feel like anyone who has Mila just uses short and water plus on every cycle. How did Toji remind you of Big Hero 6? Because of the name Toji. I don't know why. As soon as I heard, as soon, when Toji first um, came onto the channel and it was Toji George, immediately I had an association with Big Hero 6. I don't know. That's the way it goes. There are nice suds in the LG. Uh, yes, I'll tell you what, if I was to add more water to that, but I can't because Toji would shout at me, um, you would see a lot of suds. Uh, and uh, Jake, uh, I bet Scott loves Chaz and Dave. Do you like Chaz and Dave? No, he's not familiar with him because he's Australian, Jake. Um, but he does like Johnny by Fine Young Cannibals. Actually, he, he likes Fine Young Cannibals a lot. She drives me crazy. She drives me crazy. Not me, me. Uh, Mr. Laundry, 101, hello. Louise, will you be watching the new Picard Star Trek, Scott? Absolutely. Oh, my God. He was frothing at the axe wound as soon as he found out. And then when as soon as the first... Um, what do you call it? Preview? Trailer came out. I thought he was going to poop his pants. Um, Edward Byrne. I'm a PI, Mr. George. Mr. Laundry, what washer would you get next? Uh, if you're on about me, um, I would like to get... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'd like. Scott, yeah. when did you finish your cup of tea? If you come round to me here, I'll pass you the cat and dog food to take out. Back yeah, and I'll, I'll I'll do it here, and then I will um, hand it to you through the door. Yeah. Hi, Samsung TV. Um, so, what washer? What washer would I get next? Um, definitely direct drive. I really do like direct drive washing machines because they, because they're so quiet. So, it would have to be a direct drive, not not even a a brushless motor. My washing machines from now on, brand new for everyday use, would have to be a direct drive. Have to. Please don't say Bosch. My tumble dryer is Bosch and I've had no problems with it. I've had it a good couple of years now. And channel, subscribe, Mr. Laundry 101. And Jake Alley, I need to hoover upstairs but still be using the Dyson V11. Ah, okay, yeah, that's good to run. That's very good for whip-arounds, Mr. Jake. 
Why is Mr. Laundry saying hi to his TV? Because he's probably watching this. Mr. Laundry Water, thanks. I'm nearly at 12k subs now. Go, girl! Actually, I'm sh let me just check to see if I am subscribed yet. I probably am, but I just want to check. I'm going to go to Mr. Laundry 101's channel. And let's take a little look. Okay, I like the sub thing with the dial. That's really nice. I like the... Um, that's cool. Uh, joined the 1st of September 2016 and about for all the laundry videos you like. 11,789 subscribers. Oh my god, that is so cool. No playlists. Um... 19,706,974 views, girl! So he posts videos every day, practically. Short videos. On Fisher and Peichel, Becco, LG Center. Oh, he's got one like me. Cotton 95. Hot Point Ultima. Beko Hybrid. Bosch Series 6. He's got lots of machines. Beko Auto Do Service Hydro Drive. Oh. Um, hang on, back up to the top a second. Yeah, no, I am subscribed. Yes, I am subscribed to your channel. So yeah, go and check out Mr. Laundry 101. Go and check out his channel and go and subscribe. And program. Jake Alley. I like Bosch. I've had mine 15 years. Hmm. Edward Byrne. Oh, it's a person. Louise. Whoa, who is your favourite Captain Scott? Mine is Picard and Brett's is Kirk and Cisco. Uh, he's gone back into the living room now, Louise, but his favourite captain is Picard. Jake, I won't be using that Kirby ever again. You better had Mr. Laundry 101. You need to learn how to use it, that's all. Uh, I try to upload uh, anyway. Every day, I think he means to say. Uh, something to be And subscribe my channel, Mr. Laundry 101. Mr. Jetta, I have a new Becco washer dryer with brushless motor. It works very noiseless. It works with air condition. It uses no water for drying, but a lot of washing and rinsing. Okay, that's cool. Jake, shame I can't take them back. No! It's not, it's not the Kirby's fault for your clumsiness. Oh, that cup of tea is nice. Look at my mug. It's a bit of a contradiction in terms to Hoover with a Henry, but there we are. I wouldn't do that in a million years. Good lad. <laughs> Jake, you're married. Do you, does your wife think that I, you're absolutely nuts? Like, you know, you, when you would join the live streams or uh, watch the channel and stuff like that. What, is, what, does she, what does she say? Jake, Nivea Mug, what tea bags do you use? Um, I have, I'm using Yorkshire tea for hard water because it's brilliant. Mr. Laundry 101, subscribe to my channel. Samsung TV. Let me have a look. I think I am. Oh, I'm not. There we go. I have just subscribed to Samsung TV. There we go, my friend. Done. Edward. Why didn't Henry make washing machines? Uh, probably because they saw the disaster that Dyson made of it and thought, we'll never go there. <laughs> Meow. 
Toji, why do you not like Bosch, Lucas? Mr. Laundry, Bosch, mine's long gone. Samsung TV, thanks, Mr. Laundry 101. And me, I've just subscribed. So yes, we are getting nice bit of foam with this um, powder, I have to say. Um, now, there is a dosing thing on the box, as you can see, and I've kind of, like, put in two doses, if you know what I mean, because, obviously, it's a big machine. So I've put in two doses. Mr. Laundry, slow tumble rinses, speed perfect is too short, normal too long, nearly all cycles do the exact same thing, delicate too intensive, wool doesn't tumble at for all for rinsing, balancing takes forever and, okay, that's why he doesn't like Bosch. <laughs> Uh, Louise, do you watch Code 1990? Oh, yes, I do watch him. Yep, I am subscribed to his channel and I do watch his videos. Edward, why do you does for that full 12 kilogram when not doing a full kilogram load? Is that not a waste? Um, possibly, but I can't really judge what the load is going to be until the water goes in and also how much it squishes down because that was a basket of clothing but it's towels so they've just squished down so it depends what i'm washing towels seem to squish down a lot ends up reducing rpm anyway aqua plus doesn't um doesn't plus much aqua and the eco silence drive isn't very silent to be fair uh, Jake, no, she's fine with it, but I do, don't have a collection, thank God. I just like chatting to you all. Oh, thank you. We like having you on here as well, Jake. I enjoy watching people review household products. Oh, thank you. We're all very, and myself, we're all very nice. It's very nice to have you on the channel as well, Jake. Mr. Laundry 101, it uses the right amount for the load you add, Edward, like most new machines now. So as you can see, the glass temperature is 149.1, which is 65.6. So the glass temperature is higher. I can't, like I said, all these temperatures are just estimations of the glass temperature. So it's de it's reached its temperature and then I've noticed, see if it does it again now. Watch. Oh no, that was a short one. The one before that was longer, so I don't know. I don't know what goes through its brain. Jake, uh, I do enjoy my job, but I won't be working as this has happened. No. I can't remember what you do, Jake. What is it you do, my friend? Suds lock is possible. If I was to add more water to this now, I'm sure it would... I don't think it would do a suds lock, but it would get very, very sudsy. Mr. Laundry, I was planning on having, like, two machines of my own. Uh, I'm not standing with 12 around me. <laughs> Oh, I'm now, <coughs> I'm now standing with 12 around me. Jake, I also watch Roger's Bits and Doings. Mm -hmm. Mr. Laundry, and it's not exactly like washers are small compared to things like Hoover. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Mr. Laundry. I know exactly what you mean. 
um, having the two full-size twin tubs now and a little twin tub that takes up a hell of a lot of room and they're only small items Toji, the hygiene cycle, in order to kill germs and be hygienic, does need to heat to a hot temperature, even if it's hotter than the selected temperature, 60, which is really good, yeah. It seems to have gotten to its temperature a lot faster than when I was using it on a, a cotton cycle, for example, set at 95. I don't know why. I'm quite liking the suds effect on this washing powder, I have to say. Edward, my cotton 60 ain't hot at all. I'm flummoxed by it. <laughs> Mr. Laundry, okay, uh, Mila, I didn't expect you to spin everything on one side. Then again, it's not going to move when it weighs 101 kilos. <laughs> Mr. Jetta, do, do your LG use warm water? Nah, it's just a cold fill. There aren't many machines on the market that do, um, front loaders, that do have hot and cold um, intake in them. It's normally cold fill. But the taps behind here, it does have the hot fill just in case. So say for example, I was to get an older front loading washing machine for fun. <laughs> um, it would be fine because there's a hot water thing there as well. This cycle is suitable for towels, stinky underwear, minging socks and even revolting disgusting baby clothes, even though it has a separate baby care cycle, Dory. Yeah. Gamer 6472, hey guys, hey y'all. Everybody say hello to Gamer6472. Gamer is my friend in Las Vegas. He lives in the City of Light. Actually, Gamer, what is... Does Las Vegas have a name? Like Chicago's the Windy City. New York is the Big Apple. What is the nickname for Las Vegas? Edward, does anyone work? <laughs> Excuse me. Has anyone washed clothes on a cold cycle before? Um, I had to when I was in Australia, but <laughs> this is really funny because when I was in Australia, obviously my mum, she washes everything on cold wash. My mum and my mother-in-law, yeah, in Australia. So she washes everything on a cold wash. So the first time we went there, she was washing the laundry for us. Not a problem. Second time we went out to Australia, I was sort of like interested in the washing machine and noticed that she was washing in cold wash and was horrified. <laughs> then the third time we went out, I decided to do our own laundry and um, add buckets of hot water into the top loader to make it warm. <laughs> and from then on, I've been doing my own laundry. Toji, yes, my jeans. Mr. Laundry, if you buy a Fisher & Paykel next, Orion, direct drive to, they have hot and cold fill. Oh, God, I don't think you can get them in the UK. I think I'd have to import it, wouldn't I? JK, Mr. Burns, 
Mr. Laundry, every day cycle in 59 minutes, 60 degrees and 24 minutes for super quick. Toji, Las Vegas is LA. No, it's not. Las Vegas. Los is LA is Los Angeles. Um, Mr. Laundry, Fisher and Peichel were the ones who actually made the direct drive. I have one and it's so good. Balancing is sensitive. <laughs> Balancing is sensitive, but it's so quiet as a result. You'd be used uh, used to the balancing after this LG. Okay. Um, okay. Maticity. Um, How do you add water while the machine is already going? I got my first front loader and it uses too little water, in my opinion. Um, just open the drawer and put a jug of water in. Now, my old washing machine, which was the hot point, you couldn't do that. The door completely covered the um, the drawer. So once the washing machine was on, you couldn't do anything. Um, I did find that a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Mr. Jetta, my meal professional uses warm water. Oh, what uh, old clock did I hear now? Can you show it? Um, it's a... It's a um, it's a wall clock, wind up one, um, but it's in the other side of the kitchen. Edward, cold wash does remove stains. Um, I agree with you. I think it depends on the powder that you use. I mean, in Australia, and I brought some back with me, there were the powders which are specifically designed for using in cold water. Jake, I'm a financial manager and director for Barclays Bank in London, and my wife is a solicitor. <gasps> Ooh. My sister wanted to be a barrister, but she decided to do business uh, and business law instead, and did her degree, but didn't go on. She didn't want to move away from home. But it was her dream to be a barrister when she was a kid. Gamer 6472. Two days ago, I got a Dyson DC-14 full kit from my brother's friends. Oh, excellent. I'll have to check out your channel and see the videos on that, Gamer. Uh, Mr. Jetta 985. I tried to put warm water in the Hoover and then she runs faster and the, the, than the professional. Oh dear. Jake, but I like to live a normal life. Yeah. Mr. Laundry 101. They're on uh, AO, about £600 new. I got mine for 360 off eBay as it was a scratch on the side. Still brand new. Oh, I know. That's like my machine, yeah. I got like four, five, 450 quid off it. Don't put water in your hoover, it will blow up, says Edward. Mr. Laundry, Jake's got money, money. Doesn't matter. Just balance a life. Uh, Louise, I don't trust cold washes, neither do I. Uh, Louise Sturton, what's that clicking? I got the back door open, so it's probably the pond filter. Could be the hot water, which is now turned off. Could be the clock clicking. Could be Dexter's collar rattling. There are lots of noises around me. There goes Joey. Could be Joey's collar rattling. The washing machine is so quiet and the camera picks up r really good sounds from far away, so. Mr. Jetta, I hate cold washing too. Uh, Matixity, I like how yours shoots water at the clothes with every tumble. Mine doesn't do that. Yes, I really, really like that. I would not buy a washing machine now that does not have that. The recirculatory system on it is brilliant. Brilliant. I personally think that is what um, dissolves or help to, helps dissolve the powder so well and also just make sure that the clothes get constantly wet with water 
um, by using lower amounts of water. Jake, yes, my mum's sister's daughter wanted to be a barrister, but it wasn't good with her communication skills. No. Louise, I'll have to be going now. Take care. Love to Louise and love to Brett. Love to you both. I'll speak to you very soon, Louise. I'm going to be doing another live stream tomorrow. So I uh, hopefully we'll see you then. Edward, you must do a video on your camera. Uh, it sounds brilliant. It, it's just my phone. It's my iPhone X Max. X10 Max. No, 10S Max. Jake, you learn to live with what you have. That's what my nan used to say. Yeah, I know what you mean. The less you, you live by the means of whatever money you have. But like when we were growing up, we didn't have loads of money, but we didn't we didn't really kind of like miss out on anything. Um, and the more money you earn, the more money you spend. Exactly. My grandmother used to say, this is really funny, right? Now, I'm not extravagant. I'm from a working class family. My family are working class. And my sister, I'm working class. My sister is obviously educated more than me with university and stuff. Um, so anyway, so I'm not one for sort of like extravagant purchases, if you know what I mean. Like, I always try and look for a bargain. I was, I have the caviar lifestyle in my head, but I'm, I, you know, I'm an Aldi boy. Anyway, <laughs> this was a couple of years ago, back in 2007, 2008, I think it was. And I needed a new car. We'd sold our caravan and I'd sold my pickup truck. And I needed a new car. So I really, really, really fancied a Mercedes. So I got myself a Mercedes C220 Estate with a cream interior, gold colored. It was bloody gorgeous. But I drove all the way up to, um, oh God. Uh, we drove all the way up to Birmingham, past Birmingham to pick up this car. Oh, hang on, there's more water going on. So anyway, so I had the car, it was only two years old. But I had it for a bargain because I was willing to travel for it and I got a bargain. Anyway, the next trip we took down to Swansea, we pulled up outside my grandmother's house and in my grandmother's house was my grandmother, my uncle, my mother, my sister, da da da, everybody. So we pulled up outside the front of the house and Melissa, my sister said, oh, um, I think it was Melissa anyway, said, oh look, Dorian's just pulled up in this Mercedes. And my grandmother turned around and said, Mercedes? How the hell has he got a Mercedes? He hasn't got enough money to buy a pound of sausages. <laughs> that about sums it up. I married well. So it's added in some more water because the temperature on the inside, on oh, the glass temperature, 56.5, 134 Fahrenheit. So, hang on, let me do that again. So that cold water has dropped the temperature down. Let's wait for it to mix up a bit. Ranges from 39 to 56. Let's just wait for it to move around a bit more. It's definitely dropped to mid 50s now. Um, yeah, it did reach 60. If you go back and check, it went over 60. It was like 65. Uh, Maxiety, I agree. I had to stop using powder detergent because it didn't fully dissolve. My next machine is going to be like yours. Um, yeah, I mean, even I, I, the Miele ones have the recirculatory system as well. I think it's fantastic. It's the first machine I've ever had with it. And now I'm like, oh my God, 
my next machine has to be a direct drive and it has to have the recirculatory system because I really like it. Toji, my friend's dad drove all the way up to 160 miles per hour on the M6 Midlands Express motorway. Oh my God. Um, it is starting to do the rinse, guys. One hour and 51 minutes left and it's just started the rinse. Mr. Jetta, I like Little. Oh my God, I love Little and Aldi. I like going up the middle aisles. They're my favorite part about going to those stores. Edward never reached 60. Yes, it did. Mr. Laundry, Tesco is my fave. I find Tesco's a bit expensive. Uh, Toji, oh, you're right, Mr. Burns. It reached 65. Yep. Toji, Dorian, can you read my second, uh, second comment up, please? Yeah, I did that. Uh, oh no, I wouldn't touch Tesco's with a barge pole, but it's personal preference. Gamer just got 119 subscribers. Well done, Gamer. Toji, first intermediate spin, 1000 RPM. Let's go, girl. Dun, 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 dun. Let's spin, girl. <clears throat> Balance and trash. Um, it all depends on the load. It really, really, really does. But I would partially agree with you there, saying that the balancing on this can be a pain in the ass. Now, it does this. Right. You can hear it's unbalanced because it's going chunk, chunk on one side. But it does this on every single wash. It will not go directly into a spin. It kind of like does this. I was reading through the instructions to try and remove as much water from the clothing as possible before it starts to spin. Jake, I was thinking of making a YouTube channel, but not sure. Uh, what would you like to put in it, Jake? Vlogs, blogs, your life. Mr. Laundry 101, I don't know how much a normal food shop per week is. A hundred pound plus is like my usual. So that a lot, but it's a Tesco. I somehow managed to spend 120 pounds in Aldi. <laughs> yeah, did you come out with an ironing board, an iron, a kettle, an old stereo and um, camping gear? Mr. Laundry, it's because I fall for all the deals and just get, uh, just check it, yeah, me too. Uh, Jake, uh, I go to Costco. Oh, now the nearest Costco to us is in Loughborough, so we don't have one near to us, but my friend, she swears by Costco. Max Society. Mine does that too, back and forth, over and over, before it'll finally spin. <laughs> Mm, that was a nice cup of tea. Thank you, hubby. <clears throat> um, so yeah, shopping, we, we go to different shops. Some stuff we get from farm foods. Um, they got really good deals on stuff like bog roll and some frozen stuff like uh, frozen lollies, ice cream, stuff like that. Um, in farm foods, I like the frozen chips, the McCain ones. Um, what else do I like in, in farm foods? There's a couple of things I like in farm. I mean, I don't like anything like their chicken and all that stuff because that's just water pumped crap. It's horrible. I've tried it. Um, then we do some water shops in Aldi's and Lidl's. Then we do some in um, in Asda because that's the nearest one to us. Um, and then sometimes 
maybe like once a week we'll call into Marks and Spencers and see what they got. Ooh, Toji. Thank goodness you've been on. It's fine. It, it's balanced. No studs lock. Toji, when will this bloody machine decide the bloody spin? Belt up, going to be a long evening. Mr. Laundry, it's an LG, Toji. Uh, Max, uh, wish I had someone to make me tea or coffee. Aww, I'll make you a cup of tea. Miss Laundry, Becco and Mila are just spin or go home brands. <laughs> Edward, a tea bag makes tea. Jake, I normally go to Costco for dishwash tablets, water, chicken breast, and so much more. They also do Siemens dishwashers at a good price. <gasps> I'd like a little bit of a Siemens dishwasher. Toji, True Lucas, Max, Lol Edward, Mr. Laundry, Toji, have you got Insta? My mind is totally blank. Edward Byrne, Lucas, you already have my Insta. Max, thanks. Mr. Laundry, oh. So I'm going to shut up because I want you to hear how quiet this machine is. Uh, Jake, then I'll go to either Sainsbury's, Waitrose, Aldi, or Little for the rest, e.g. fruit, veg, but I go to Costco every three months. Mr. Laundry, you've seen my new dishwasher then. Totally didn't even think about making a video on it for YouTube. Toji, you can guess my Insta, can't you, Lucas? Jake, I've got to go in a minute. My dinner is ready. No worries, Jake. We will see you in a bit because we've still got one hour and 43 minutes. So you could have your dinner and have a nap, do the dishes, and still I'll be online. <laughs> Edward, uh, you could have two LG in the bedroom spinning and still fall asleep. Well, Dexter sleeps on top of the LG um, in winter time. If you go back and check through all my um, majority of my um, Washy Wednesday videos with the LG, Dexter is fast asleep on top of the thing. Um, Max, the pump is the loudest part, I know, but the newer machines have the AC-DC pump, I don't know, whatever the difference is to this. Um, Jake, uh, Mr. Laundry, what dishwasher, yeah, what dishwasher is it? This span nowhere near a thousand, no, I didn't think that either. Jake, nah, I would rather use the Siemens dishwasher. I want a Siemens dishwasher. Mr. Laundry, uh, that's where Fisher and Pikel come in. They only turn on pump when it senses water or during ramp up. Yes. Toji, anyway, first rinse. Yes. <coughs> Jake, uh, on economy 50. Uh, you were wrong, Toji. Mr. Laundry, it's IKEA hygienist the top model it's basically an AEG pro clean I didn't know IKEA made dishwashers or, or branded dishwashers I didn't know that <clears throat>
Mr. Laundry, people thought 650 quid was a lot, but it'll last at least five years due to warranty anyway. Jake, oh nice, I was looking at AEGs. Um, no, I, I wouldn't want an AEG dishwasher, to be honest. I'm not that fussed on them. I like Siemens. <laughs> Do you have to put together an IKEA dishwasher? <laughs> yeah. It comes as a flat pack. Mr. Laundry, don't get AEG laundry appliances, they're shit. Yeah, I'm not that fast on AEG, to be honest. Right, so I'm going to do the doggies and caddies food while I read out your comments and I'm going to pass it through. Two honey lucks. Pass me the dog food and go around there. You've got the dog food there, so Gilligan's. Where? Yeah, that's why I need Dilliker. That's why I need Gilligan's. Mr. Laundry, I paid one thousand three hundred for EG washer dryer pair, and the and I both and I've sold both. I would like an AEG 8000 8, series washing machine and tumble dryer set like the set he has. Gamer, I like your pets. Oh, thank you, Gamer. All the rest of that. So I'm going to do... Gilligan is on this special um, gastrointestinal food. Dexter, wait a minute. Whoosh. Impatient dogs. Impatient cats. Impatient dogs and cats and cats and dogs. Impatient cats and dogs. Impatient cats, impatient dogs, impatient cats and dogs, impatient dogs and cats. Gonna put
Okay, you guys, let me show you the pig troughing that goes on. There's Dexter. Zach. Millie. Gilligan. So Gilligan and Millie are going to get their haircuts tonight after I finish the live stream. They are going to have a haircut. Right, I'm bored of animals now. Let's get back to the more interesting thing. Uh, I don't know where Ping Pong is, to be honest. She hasn't turned up. She normally turns up later. Okay, Jake's gone for his dinner. So, Gamer, I like your pets. Edward, his name is Ban Toji. Um, <laughs> I know, Mr. Burns. Uh, Jake, uh, I had a LEG iron and tripped over the flex and fractured my foot two years ago. Ah, so there we go, Jake. It goes to show that you, you're not, it's, you're just clumsy with appliances. Toji, he won't read his name out. Voldemort. Mr. Laundry 101, I have a feeling Jake doesn't have good balance. Neither do I. Uh, Edward Byrne, troublemaker. Jake, okay, I'm off to have dinner. I'll be back soon. Mr. Laundry 101 should have took that 1,300 quid and spent it on a decent meal. <laughs> Toji retracted, gamer, I'm gonna go, I'm sorry. No worries, my friend, I hope you did get to see the dogs and the cats. I did that for you. Mr. Laundry 101, because I spent it on worthless piles of crap. AEG Laundry. Toji, what was wrong with your AEG machine, Lucas? Uh, I never did understand why you hated it so much. Oh, Mr. Laundry, don't get me started, girl. The washer suspension is crap, skip spins, constant no water during rinsing, couldn't reach temperature cycles, way too long, control board had a mind of its own. <gasps> Maxiety, dinner is served. Mr. Laundry, oh, and it pumped out black smoke. Edward, where's Ping Pong? She'd be back. Dinner, had a haircut, what service? Dinner and a haircut, what service, exactly? I can do a little bit of dinner and a little bit of dogscaping. Uh, Mr. Laundry, the dryer couldn't sense most of uh, most loads on most cycles. Took forever and blasted out hot air. Beko doesn't. It was loud. It had lint everywhere inside within six months. Mr. Laundry, a complete different world when it comes to my 800 quid Beko washer dryer pair. Edward Boone, best go feed the owl one. See you later. Dave Jones. Hello, Mr. Lux. How been ya? Hello, Dave. How are you, my hunky little stud muffin, my little pocket rocket? That's the mother. All oh, right, okay, I get it now. Best go feed the owl one. The owl one. <laughs> I thought you meant like a pet owl. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm very good, Dave. Thank you very much. Been out today. Ooh, ooh, is it gonna balance? Yes, Toji must be still online. 
Dave, good, good hay fever, not so nice. Ow! Hasn't quite drained out all the water yet. I can still hear it flapping at the bottom. There we go, it's kicked in. Water's drained out. Stop flapping around. Uh, that's the mother. <laughs> yeah, I guess that. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing she isn't watching the live stream. Okay, this first rinse is ramping up faster than it did on the spin is ramping up a bit faster than it did previously. Yo, told you, you didn't miss anything. Thankfully, it balanced well. I was assuming that you were still online. <clears throat> Dave Jones, nothing like a rampant spin. I absolutely agree with you there, as you know. Um, Matic City, what country is that detergent from? Ah, uh, Bulgaria. Uh, Toji, I might need to go charge up my phone up in a bit because it's at 19%. Where's your battery pack, Toji? Toji. This time it's your fault for the long cycle. Yep. <laughs> Is he not a Womble? Uncle Bulgaria? Yes. Remember your Womble. Remember your Womble. Wombles of Wimbledon. Wombling free, la 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 la, de 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 de. Ah, this is your fault because you didn't tell me about it beforehand, so that I could charge up my phone in a bit. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Dave, let your balls hang free, just not on Instagram. <laughs> yep. There we go, straight into the next rinse. Uh, we are gonna do the medic rinse as well, so. Oh, 
Come on. Go see daddy. Hey daddy. He wants to come in here. He's in here with me, he's come in here for some reason. Yeah, of course not, he came through. Yes, there, that's right, yeah, it's on the final rinse. But that does take up some time for the water to heat. Dave, so how many servings was cake in the end? Two. <laughs> Told you, right, Dorian, I'll be back. I need to charge my phone now. No worries, mate. See you in a minute. I'm so tired. Oh, Dave, yeah, it was yummy. Can you still select Rinse Plus? Uh, I've still got three rinses to go after this. Two, actually, sorry. Dave and, um, and me, I could sleep for a wick. You always slick for the wick. <laughs> I know I've heard about you sleeping for a wick. No worries, told you. See you in a minute.
Mm, it does mount, um, mount. It definitely sounds ASMR. That's why I'm sitting here in my chair watching and listening. And I just love the slopping, splopping, splatting, smushing sounds. I watch a lot of channels where they do the, where the guys do the full loads of washing. I just find it very ASMR just to, just to watch, it's like watching a, a fire in a fireplace. We bought a calendar today to send to Australia and uh, the calendars for 2020 and I was like oh my god 2020 where have the last 20 years gone we are halfway through 2019 and it is going to be the 20s we are starting a new decade the 20s I think I'm going to make an appointment to speak to the doctor about getting some bariatric surgery. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. Uh, how old are you, uh, Matt? Dave, so what hovers will come out next year? A whole lot more of bagless shite. I can't see Seaball coming out with anything new. They haven't long done the X7. Pneumatic seem to be making a bit of a stand in America, so they, you know they they seem to be doing quite well in America at the moment. The um, the pneumatics they need to come out they need to come back out with another electric um, powerhead, definitely. Old, 55. You're not old. You're only a few years older than me. Well, that's not balanced. Washing boy, first spin. <laughs> no, this is like the third spin. No, this is the third spin. Vacuums because I can't call a Dyson over. No, you can't.
Right, come on, pump, get sucking. RIP 58 subscribers, no content. Um, that photograph is that you? for another spin doesn't f sound or look balanced at all oh but it's doing it maybe nope that's not balanced it stopped doesn't like that bloody towels one of the big towels is clumped up bloody thing That's because Toji's gone to bloody charge up his bloody phone. As soon as he's gone offline, it's not even balanced now. No. Um, do you try Aerial Liquid? Yes, I like Aerial. Um, I've got some um, Aerial Pods, so I do like Aerial Liquid. I don't use it as much as I used to anymore. I use a lot of powder. Um, that sounds better. I think that's going to spin. But yeah, I do like Ariel in general. But as I've used many times, that Daz Whites and Colors is, is really good. I really like it. I love the smell of it. But I think that's going to be balanced now. It seems to look a bit more balanced. smells amazing um the daz uh, the daz smells amazing yes ariel i like the smell of it but i do like the smell um matt yes that's me and i used to have content on a previous channel uh without the rip it used to make videos on the subject of anxiety ah. <coughs> that photograph is very cute i like you I've done uh, a couple of videos on my own issues that I have with um, depression and anxiety and stuff like that. So I, I take sertraline for it, which I find works really, really well. And I did a course of um, behavioral therapy, um, which worked really good. I use a lot of the techniques, but with... I still do get cloudy days, I call them cloudy days, but I still get the kind of like, I know this sounds a little bit dramatic, but it's kind of like you, uh, you do get like suicidal thoughts, but not, but fleeting, um, fleeting ones that, um, I just call flashes, little flashes, but they don't, they're not like they used to be then a few years ago when I first became ill. Uh, it's nothing like that anymore. But um, you just, I just, just deal with it. I recognize my triggers more. And I try to face my triggers as well not to hide from them i think if i was to do that i would become more and more and more shut off so i do constantly try and push myself a little bit but i, I recognize my limits i recognize stuff and avoid it 
the medication helps me think more clearly and rationalize stuff better. So, I mean, I don't think it's something you'll ever, ever, I'll ever, ever get over or overcome, but um, it does become manageable. Samsung TV, final spin. Nope, not final spin. We've still got two more spins to go, uh, one more spin to go, which is the medic spin. So we got, I think we got one more spin after this, but we've definitely got the medic spin to go. We've still got one hour and 10 minutes to go to left on the, on this live stream. So if you guys want to ask me some questions, you better ask away, because I'm an open book. Jake, hey everyone, I'm back. What did you have for dinner, Jake? We were just talking about, well, I was just talking about my anxiety and my condition. Matt, that's awesome that it worked for you for the most part. Cloudy days and fleeting thoughts will always be there. But as you say, if it's manageable, it's good. Yes. Samson TV, yes. Back life. Jake, lasagna. Oh my God, I like lasagna. Um, we're having pizza for tea tonight. And I'm not cooking. Happy Lux is cooking. Because as soon as this live stream is finished, I am going to be giving the doggies, Gilligan and Millie, their haircuts. It's so quiet. This is what I love about this washing machine. It's so quiet. Uh, do video you making pizza. Um, I'm not making pizza tonight. We're just gonna have um, Chicago Town. <laughs> What's the toppings? Uh, pepperoni. Jake, homemade lasagna with salad with a honey mustard dressing and for dessert I had a chocolate brownie with ice cream. Uh, everyone's going round to Jake's for pudding. Can you imagine Jake? Ding dong at the doorbell, opens the door, and there's 20 people standing there with me at the front. <laughs> hey girl, get the lasagna on. <laughs> Jake would have a fit. Matt, yours, yum, yours making me hungry. Washing boy, trialing all gems. Are they the um? Are they the scent boosters? Washing boy, Dave. If you slice your sausage, you can get more in your mouth. Oh, I can get two in, no problem. Matt, your yes. I don't like using them. I've stopped using them now. We had hot dogs in the week. Bloody gorgeous. I made caramelized onions. We had lovely big soft. <coughs> the hot dogs were like jumbo size, you know, like the ones like jumbo sausage. And um, I made caramelized onions. I put in a tiny little bit of curry powder in them for a bit of flavor. A little bit of sugar, caramelized them. Then we had mustard and ketchup. Oh my god, they were gorgeous. Blazing Blue Fusion Super Cyan Blue Vegeto. 
CCFC, CYCCXY, CCF, DY, CCF. Okay. And when I go on his channel, there is no channel, I can't. I can only report, put user in timeout, hide user, or add as moderator. I can't go to his channel. Yeah, why is that? What are you hiding, Blazing Blue Fusion Super Cyan Blue Legato? Jake, oh really, you have anxiety attacks? I have them sometimes. Um, no, I wouldn't say, no, I don't have anxiety attacks. I suffer with anxiety and depression for a number of years after an episode so i take medication um dave oh i had a battered sausage oh i bet you've battered many a sausage dave <gasps> talking of battered sausages hey girl pneumatic vacuums on everybody loves pneumatic vacuum jake hmm hot dogs washing boy uh will you do an l LG Dog Full Toys tra uh, Wash with you. Yeah, funnily you should say that. I do have one of them coming up very soon. The toy box needs a rinse. How are you today, Pneumatic Vacuum? What have you been up to? Have you had your hot dogs yet? <laughs> Edward Byrne back again. Hey, Edward. Mr. Burns, how are you today? Back again. Glad to have you back in the fold. Washing boy is very excited for my dog toy video, yes. Do you guys want me to do a dog toy video tomorrow's live stream? I'm going to do another live stream tomorrow. Would you like me to do a dog toy wash? Pneumatic, I'm good. I have just finished work. My sausage will be Wednesday. Hey, jumbo and battered. Edward Burney, yep. Wash your boy, please, live. There we go. Okay, so tune in tomorrow, earlier tomorrow, at 2 p.m. for another live wash and vlog with dog toys. I'm going to fill up the washing machine with dog toys. Washing boy, I am not hangry now. <laughs> Uh, Edward, what cycle are you thinking? Um, with the dog toys, I think I'm going to do another hygiene cycle. Or I may do a baby cycle. So it'd like to be a baby or a hygiene. Jake, I would say I don't have anxiety really bad, but I do pace up and down. Tripping over irons and vacuum cleaners. Pneumatic vacuum. Oh, I will be at work till five. I suppose it depends how long you last. Girl, I can go for hours. Uh, washing boy, do baby. Okay. Washing boy, please. I will decide on the day. <laughs> Edward, never seen the baby cycle be something different. That's true. I don't think I've used the baby cycle. So, yeah, go on, sod it. We'll do the baby cycle tomorrow. Go on. Jake, that's what my wife said. <laughs> She's a smart lady, Jake. She is a very smart lady. Richard Slater, hello. Uh, don't forget to mention Reform as you promised to give a shout out. Yes, right, okay. Very good, Richard. I'm glad you have come to me on that because I had forgotten. And I do have everything prepped, so bear with me a second while I go into um, 
uh, Richard, you, did you send it to me on Instagram Messenger or was it an email? I can't remember. Just going through because I took a screenshot of it, so I am going to have a look for the screenshot. Bear with me, you guys. I'm just going back, 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 back because I took a screenshot of it. So I am just flicking, 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 flicking through my pictures for you. of sausages, washing machines, hoovers, flick, 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 Mila, Hoover 6, Hoover model 375 pictures, vlog, fur, right, okay, here we go. I found it. Uh, Richard Slater. Um, he sent a message to me saying, Hi Dorian, I love all your vacuum cleaner videos that you do. Please can you give a shout out for Reform, which is a charity based in Ripon, North Yorkshire, for people with learning disabilities. Um, the charity is called Reform and it's spelt R-E, the number four, and then R and M, so Reform. So what I'm going to do, let me come back onto the live stream. So there we go. So there we go, Richard Slater. What I have done, so don't forget to mention Reform as you promised to give a shout out. That is the shout out for the charity Reform. And once the video is finished, I will put a link to the charity in there for uh, for you, Richard, for anybody to go and have a little look at, all right? So there we go. Thank you very much, Richard, for uh, re-mentioning that to me. I'm really glad you did. Thank you. And I will put the link to the, to the charity in the video description. Matt, baby cycle sounds like child abuse. Oh, you don't put the baby in. <laughs> Washing boy, you make me happy, Mr. Lux. Oh, thank you. Pneumatic, bloody baby cycle. They are so ridiculous, these programs nowadays. I know. Matt, lol. Pneumatic vacuum, Jack made me delete all my sausage pictures. Oh, well, I still got them. Jake, I'm in the kitchen loading up the dishwasher. We'll put it on economy 50, which always cleans very well and only takes one hour and eight minutes. Ah. Jake, is your Samsung dishwasher, is it the one with the cutlery drawer at the top? I don't like the fact that anybody makes anybody have to do something. Delete anything. Never mind. Sloshing around in there. Edward, my economy cycle on my Beko dishwasher takes three hours and 30. Yeah, mine takes about that as well. And it, I <clears throat> I only used it once. It, it did not clean the dishes as good as um, <clears throat> a hot or a normal. Just did not do it at all. I tried it and I was like, if this works, then I will make it my daily cycle. But um, no. not my picks, other people. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> 
Uh, Jake, you mean Siemens dishwasher? Yes, it has the cutlery drawer and blue lights when you open the door up. <gasps> Bitch, I is jealous. I want your semen dishwasher. There we go, washing boy. It's pumping it out a bit. Edward, I use intensive 70s for one hour, 15 minutes. Um, I have to say, I generally use the... Um, the hot cycle on the dishwasher. I have to say that is the cycle I use the most. Um, this guess is because I, I, I just want everything. It's not necessary, but I like everything to be in the dishwasher. I like it to be like really, really like boil washed. That's probably why the bloody stupid dishwasher is lasting as long as it is. Jake, really? Three hours? God, that's a long time. Matt, three hours is way too long to wash dishes. Absolutely. Pneumatic, I want your Siemens dishwasher. Yeah, I love Siemens dishwashers. They're brilliant. I really want the cutlery drawer. I did a video of one that was in the charity shop, the British Heart Foundation, a little while ago. I wish I had bought it. It was in mint condition and it was like for sale for like 80 quid. I wish I had bought it. Jake, I use uh, I only use economy or intensive, but normally I use economy every time. Yeah, to be honest, I think it's just because I have an in the shit. Um, if I was to have a Siemens dishwasher, I think the economy um, one would be a lot better. So it completely depends. Oh, that's not balanced. Where's Toji? Washing boy, Samsung dishwasher, Eco Bubble. Oh, do they make um, an eco-bubble dishwasher? I didn't know that. Uh, Matt, uh, pneumatic vacuum, lol. I don't think he read it right. Um, I did. I just had to read it the way it was. Uh, what the hell is that machine doing? Uh, that was imba unbalanced. Pneumatic vacuum. Don't have... Don't have a piss around. <laughs> yes. That is the negative thing about this uh, machine, is that it's uh, it does take a lot to balance it sometimes. Jake, yes, but I make sure it is loaded to capacity. Yeah, me too. With the amount of dishes that we get through, plus all the dog and cat bowls, because um, they have a fresh bowl every meal twice a day, um, the dishwasher goes on at least once a day. Please, LG, spin. Well, it's Toji's fault because Toji's not here. Yep, there we go. There we go, boys. I think. Is it? It's not balanced. Nope, it's not balanced. Nope. Exactly. Told you get out of the bloody shower and get on you. Jake, my sister puts her dishwasher on four times a day. Oh my god. She got a big family. The funny thing is, when we have my friends up, Angeline, Richard, and the boys, um, when they were younger, with the, the six of us, the dishwasher, again, would be on, like, twice a day. Oh, my God, that is not balanced. Uh, Matt, lots of double entendre in this chat. Uh, definitely when um, Pneumatic Vacuum comes on. Jake, no, it's just her and her partner. 
What? She can some kind of like chef or something? Nope, that's not balanced. Damn machine! Damn Toji, where is he? One of those towels has gone up into a bit of a bloody ball. How can you have a wash out dishwasher on four times a day with two people? I'm I'm racking my brains trying to think. LG, uh, yep, I agree. This is the issue with LG. She always uses quick wash on her Bosch and doesn't load. Ah, uh, okay. Matt, he's changing his phone. Ha ha. I think she must be cleaning up after all those workmen she has in. <gasps> Girl, she ain't like you. Why LG not spin? It's just it's just unbalanced and it's it's very it's very chintzy when it comes to balancing. I think that should be okay now. It seems okay. J Galley lol. Is it? Oh, Toji, where are you? Okay, it's it's on. It's doing. It's doing. It's balanced. Matt, I yell at mine. Spin already. It's going. It's going for the spin. It's not too bad. I don't have to have someone to do stuff for me. I can sort it out myself. I know, girl. Jake, just popped on the dishwasher. Very quiet, quick and energy efficient. Can't beat a Siemens. I absolutely agree with you. You can't beat a good Siemens. Edward, why can't people use their phone when it's charging? Exactly. Washing boy, an amazing LG. Well... I do like its washes and everything and its cycles and everything else. I love all that and its quietness. But its balancing drives me insane sometimes. But I have to say I can count on one hand, minus a thumb and my little finger, on how many times the machine has actually stopped and I've had to physically take out stuff or move stuff around it's it does manage to do it in the end there's only there's only three times that it's actually sort of like stopped and sort of like put up an error code um a classic would you get a bosch washer um i don't think i would to be honest because i've just hear so many negative things about them nobody seems to like them much I hear far more negative about a, a Bosch washing machine. Uh, Matt Edward Boone. They can, but maybe he doesn't have an outlet uh, in a convenient place for that. Pneumatic vacuum, it's all about the Siemens. They are brilliant dishwashers. Edward, LG is the same as in the set with balancing. Ah. Jake, I'm just going to Hoover with the Kirby Avalier downstairs. We'll be back in a minute. For crying out loud, will you watch what you're doing? You've already got one dodge, dodgy ankle and a broken arm. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jetar. Yes, it takes a lot of time, but it washes very good. Yes, it does wash very good. Washing boy, dog bed and toys wash error code. Yes. Jake, pneumatic vacuum. Yes, lol. 
Mela Classic. I've got the classics. I think they were the last well-made Bosch machines. The new ones feel like crap. Jake will do. Good, good. Oh, listen to that silence. people do we have watching now? I've got my thermometer because the next one is going to be <laughs> the medic rinse. Jake, how long's left before I go? 50, uh, 52 minutes. So the screen temperature at the moment is showing 23.5 degrees Celsius, 73.9 Fahrenheit because it is now going to go onto the magic rinse and the magic rinse heats up so um no matter what i feel like i am just being a troll no you're not um pneumatic vacuum you're on instagram aren't you you never comment on anything i do bitch Edward Byrne, anyone seen Florence Barlard A3060, aka Brandon, video unboxing his machines after shipping from Australia? <gasps> oh my god, yes I did. I can't believe what happened to that machine. That was awful, absolutely awful. Dave, I'm here but got distracted by Mr. Beckle. Yes, I noticed that he put out a video about an hour ago, so... I will be watching that later on and commenting on my absolutely amazing, lovely, best vacuum friend, Sam Watson. Uh, Edward, I felt so bad for him. I know, so did I. I couldn't believe those bloody Care Bears. They were mouldy as buggery, but it was quite fun to watch the um, the video when he, watched, when he washed them. Um, they came up really good. It was quite funny wa watching Care Bears being washed. I liked that video. I am on Instagram. Well, you don't sound like a bitch because you never comment on me. You never message me. Washing by Hot Point. Shipping video, Brandon. I like Brandon. He's really nice. Magic vacuum. That feeling is horrible when you receive something broken in transit. Yes. But unlike others, I don't worry about it. I don't cause hissy fits and dramas on my channel if something comes broken second hand. <gasps> Ooh, let's spill the tea. Matt, I recently converted my Kirby Classic 3 to use disposable bags. I'm might sacrifice might be a sacrifice but no more asthma from vacuuming that is a really good idea yes converting the old ones if you use them a lot to the to be bagged is definitely a good idea dave jones naughty naughty edward burton yeah washing by But I'm sure he'll get that machine fixed. He said somebody was uh, going to give him a new faceplate. So hopefully it'll be fine. I did, um, I finished refurbing. On my going back to my Rolls Repeat twin tub, I have completely finished refurbing the top part of it that comes off. So that has all been rubbed down. Um, parts of it were blasted in the sandblaster. It's all been resprayed all put back together it looks absolutely amazing pneumatic vacuum i clocked that hint dorian for old mm -hmm. girl we're spilling the tea the library is now closed 
Jake, anyone know how easy it is to change a Kirby belt as I've just hoovered up a sock and the belt has snapped? Oh my God, Jake, that's so easy. Unplug the vacuum at the wall. Make sure it's, unvac it's unplugged for your security. Lift up the headlight. Turn the belt lifter to the anti-clockwise position until it reads red. Unlock the head from the metal clip and pull it off. Flip over the floor head to the underneath. Undo the, ba the face base plate clips. Remove the base plate and pull out the brush roll. Place the new belt over the brush roll and lock in the belt. Put the brush roll back into the into the head housing, making sure your ends are aligned. As your machine is brand new, make sure that you have used the notches marked with one. Reinsert the brush roll. Clip on the base plate using the front first then the back. Lock in the base plate with the two clips on either side. Turn the belt lifter to the green position. Make sure the belt is looped on hard. Then turn the belt lifter to the red position, making sure that the belt has been picked up by the lifter. Place the head back on the machine, clipping on at the bottom first and flipping it up. Secure the head floor head and turn the belt lifter to the green position. Close the headlight, plug it back in bitch and you was ready to go. not meant to um yeah it's very easy milk and see where are we everyone knows how easy it is to change a kirby belt as i've hoovered up a sock and the belt has snapped <coughs> okay uh matt it's very easy jake edward not meant to hoover socks jake or shall i use the dyson no edward air hostess voice dorian you better have it dave hope sock wasn't on your foot yep <laughs> matt Lol, Edward Byrne, that's exactly how he sounds. <laughs> Washing boy, Henry, amazing vacuum, yes they are. Pneumatic vacuum, Dorian, have you ever had people message you to make a video of vacuuming your socks and feet? Yes, I have. Um, and my flip-flops, ugh. I get, my, I get them, uh, mine all the time. No, feet and socks and things, they're, they're not my thing. Um, I ain't gonna be the one to be matching my socks to my vacuum. Oh, there's some more tea. Um, Edward Burns laughing, the magic vacuum with that voice, Dorian. I'm expecting you to say, put the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. <laughs> or, or I could say, it rubs the lotion in its skin. Right, let me go get, I need to get the other battery for the light. Crumbs, this has been so long, the battery is dead. Da -da! And Jesus said, and God said, that let there be light. Right, let's check the glass temperature. Uh, 23.2, 73.5. This is the medic rinse. I think it's the medic rinse. Jake, um, I'll just use the Dyson as I have one arm to use at the moment. I'll call an engineer out. You don't need an engineer to change the bloody belt. You can get your wife to do it. 
washing boy. Put Henry in the LG. No! Uh, I'm not like that um, guy who puts things in the washing machine. I can hear the heater on. Edward, secure with the seat belt, low and tight across your waist. Just like how my grandma wears her, wears her support bra. <laughs> uh, Matt, lol, Edward Boone. Yeah, that is funny, actually. See, I want a job as the as one of the Kirby demonstrators on the videos that you get with the Kirby. Um, I want to do that job. Turn the belt lifter to the green position. I love that. That's just so classic. Um, Jake, quick question for you: When you got the when you got the new Kirby? Um, did the instruction, did it, was it a DVD? Did it come in an instructional DVD? Uh, Jake, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Washing boy, put Henry in the LG and take a photo. Uh, I don't think it would fit in, to be honest. I will have to try that, actually. Good idea, washing boy. I will see if I can fit the Henry cordless in, because he's small. Um, if I can't fit him in, then I won't. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Toji, I am back now, Dorian. Phone is at 30% with power save enabled, so I should be able to last the rest of the live stream. Toji, where have you been? We have had issues with balancing. Everybody, please tell Toji what has happened since he went offline. Jake, yes, I got the DVD. Why? Um, I was just wondering this all because uh, in the beginning it used to be the video cassette. Then it changed to DVD, and I was and now I was wondering if the instructions came in like a, like a, like a, a mic, like a, you know, like a storage device or something. Told you, plum. <laughs> Matt, what about Toji? Toji, Jesus, what have I missed? Ah, oh, balancing issues on every rinse cycle. Right, this is the medic rinse, so I'm gonna keep checking the temperature. 25.2 is the glass temperature. Uh, Toji, my girlfriend is texting me on Instagram now. Ah, oh, that's all we're gonna get now is my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Edward, half the live stream, but not to worry. Also, my tech drive is making a clicking sound. Oh. That's not right. Because my Avalia, you can't even hear the tech drive on it. It is, like, completely silent. Uh-huh. Habilux is making comments in the background. That heater is going hell for leather. I don't know if you can hear it, guys. 26 degrees. We've gone up one degree. Washing boy. Uh, do you have Instagram, Mr. Lux? I have. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I have um, Instagram. If you go and check out literally any one of my videos... Um, in the video description, uh, you can click the link to my Instagram page. So go and um, go and click. Jake, hmm, might need oiling. Oh damn! I wish you were closer because I'd love to. Um, I could fix that for you. I'd like to. I'd love to know why. Edward Byrne and some boy is hoovering his sock and breaking his vacuum. Ah, oh, it was an accident. Pneumatic. Uh, the toe touch control located over the front wheel raises and lowers the front of your Kirby. Step down on the toe touch control pedal to raise the nozzle. Morgan. Hello. Call me Morgan. I'm on Dawn's again. Edward. Dorian was uh, a hostess. I was the hostess with the mostess. Uh, that's how I met my um, my husband. Edward, the LG is out of control. 
He was travelling first class and I was given additional services. Edward, the algae is out of control. Uh, we are on temperature 27 degrees. Morgan, is there a live tomorrow? Yes, we are going to be doing a baby care cycle on dog toys. Jake, just go in to watch a Kirby video. <laughs> After the stream, washing boy, my name, Instagram, washing boy. Okay. Just just follow my link. You, uh, It's open to everybody. Edward Byrne, I bet you were. <laughs> Morgan, what are we doing today? Uh, we are doing a... Um, it says in a description, in the description, we're using a Bulgarian washing detergent. Uh, we're doing a white load 60 hygiene with a medic rinse. <laughs> you met him in the toilets on the plane, you mean. Ew! How long left? Uh, 38 minutes. Jake, the Kirby is a home care system. Yes, exactly. A rather rubbish carpet shampooer. It's a good buffer. Edward, too long. Matt, embarrassed now that I asked what country the detergent was from. Didn't realise it was in the title. Oh, don't worry. Jake, and it says it's simple to operate. It is very simple. Uh, washing boy, what's the 27? Still at 27, so I'll give it another minute before I um, check it again. Let's do it now. Uh, 20... Eight point two. Jake, <laughs> simple to operate my ass. Morgan, thirty eight minutes. Is it doing a wash? Uh, no, it's on the medic rinse. So it's heating up. I can hear the heater going like crazy. Matt, I just see live and click. I don't read the title. Exactly. I'm glad that you have clicked on our video today, Matt. It's very nice to have you on here. It's been fun chatting to you. No worries. Happy Lux has just taken Gilligan for a walk. Um, please, Matt, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I'll be very, very grateful. Uh, Edward, no medic rinse. Yeah, this is the medic rinse. Washing boy, LG do 30... TMP. Jake, my wife is doing it. Ah, oh, bless her. She's a sweetheart. Tell her hello from me, Jake. Uh, Morgan. Oh, I've missed half. Sorry. Felt bad. No, don't worry about it, mate. Toji's back again. Excellent. Edward Byrne. Have... You have the wife well trained, Jake. <gasps> Ooh, I think it's more like the wife has him trained very well. Matt, I'm subscribed. Yay! Thank you, Matt. Love to have you on board. Jake, watch Vacuum Facts. He is saying that the Kirby vacuum cleaners are crap. Um, no, not no. he's not really saying that they're crap. He's saying certain aspects of them are crap. He isn't saying that the whole Kirby is crap. Because the negative points that he talks about the Kirby um, are pretty much true. But they are very, very good they have a massive they have massive airflow but the suction isn't as good as some other vacuums that's what he's saying but the brush roll on it is good um, morgan are you okay yeah no i'm really good thank you my friend nice to have everybody here on the live stream Uh, 
<laughs> Toji, my girlfriend's parents keep calling her about what she shouldn't have, why she shouldn't have a boyfriend. Yeah. Washing boy, uh, what's the temperature? Okay. Uh, we are now at 29.684. Uh, Morgan, can you show going into the dryer? Nope, because they're going onto the washing line. Uh, Jake, yes, she trained to do anything. <laughs> she trained you to do anything. Jake, oh, okay. <laughs> Matt, best thing about Kirby's is how long they last. That's very true. As long as you don't wash your carpets with them, because they are, they're a killer. I've, I've refurbed enough Kirby's to know exactly what sh carpet shampooing does to them. Uh, Jake, Emma says, hello, Dorian. Hey, Emma. Hey, girl. You have a very, very nice husband, um, Emma. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, but I, ex I expect you are nicer with a lot more patience. You must have a lot of patience to, to live with clumsy clop over here that trips over irons and falls downstairs with vacuum cleaners. Girl, she got her work cut out with him. <laughs> I love you, Jake. Um, LG do 30 temp. Yeah, they do, yeah. Toji, medic rinse must only heat up to 30, not 40. Morgan, can you show that? No. Uh, I'm going to end the stream as soon as it's finished and I'm going to start cooking dinner. Um, Edward, is it going to rain? It's not forecast over here. Right, let's check the temperature. Glass temperature. Uh, thirty point two at the moment. Yeah, me too. It's really loud. King of Zanussi, thirteen one. Hello, buddy. Hey, everybody, say hello to King of Zanussi's. Please go check out his channel. Go and subscribe to him. He is an amazing guy. Uh, you really genuinely couldn't meet a nicer guy than him. Go and check out his channel and support him. Oh, the heat has stopped. Uh, 30.7. Hello, Miles. Jake Alley. Yes, she is very relaxed. Aww. I like Emma. Never met her, but I think never met you. But I think you guys are a really nice couple. Jake will do. King is no seas, thank you. It means a lot. I'm almost at two hundred subs. Wee! You go girl. You'll be at two thousand soon. Toji, thirty degrees final rinse. Oh, I thought it would have got hotter than that, to be honest. Anyway, I'll keep checking on the temperature just to see if anything does increase. Washing boy, are you like my Mr. Lux? Ah, oh, thank you. Thirty-one point five. Morgan, LG washing machines cleaning faster with Bulgarian. Yeah. Washing machines clean faster with Bulgarian powder. <clears throat> King of Zanussis. Hello, Toji. Sorry, it's just seen your message. Edward, what? It heats up the fabric conditioner. Yes, it does, yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm sure the fabric conditioner went in in this last rinse. Toji, everyone, please subscribe to King's No Seas. He needs a hell of a lot more subscribers than 200 subs. I agree, Toji. Jake, I'm going now on a dog walk. See you tomorrow. Jake, my lovely friend, love to you and Emma. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy your walk. It's been a pleasure to have you on the live stream today. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. So have a good one, Jake. Mwah! Uh, Morgan, where's Dexter? He was in the video at the beginning. He was eating. He was at the top of the washing machine. Um, you'll have to go back and watch the video once it's uploaded and then you'll see the lovely Dexter. 
Uh, Edward, check the drawer. Well, no, I definitely know it's um, it's not in there anymore. No, it's empty. Um, but I'm sure it went in on this one, on this rinse. Washing boy, LG, nice and clean of Calgon. Jake, I'll hoover when I get back. My neighbours will be happy. <laughs> yep. King of the Noosies, thank you. It means a lot, Toji. I don't know what I'll do without fans like you all. Well, my friend, you can't get better than us. It just helps that you're a really nice person. That's that's what. And genuine. Uh, Jake, I hope I don't trip over. Oh, for God's sake, don't say that. No, I don't want to be on tomorrow's live stream, live from hospital. Morgan, Colton. Uh, 32.9. Uh, Toji, yes, the fabric softener did go in, Dorian. The medic rinse only heats up the final rinse water with the fabric softener. Okay. Uh, Toji, I did, yes. Washing boy, you're my best friend. It's like, oh, thank you. Morgan, CO. Uh, Edward, read Toji's last comment. I did. Jake, Emma says bye. Morgan, Calgon is rubbish for me. Oh, I don't mind. I use it. I don't. Never mind. Last comment. Yep. Millie is looking at me from outside, and she desperately needs a haircut, which is what I'm gonna do. Baby, give you a haircut. Daddy, give you a haircut. Daddy, give you a haircut because you're awfully hot. You're panting. Like me. Toji, has Mark Fontaine shown up again since the last incident? No. Goodbye. Um, I, uh, to be honest, I, had no, I hadn't had any issues with him before. It was all really fine. Um, and then I was talking to some other friends who had... Um, uh, about it and they had they had all had issues with him so yeah apparently not, not a nice person so there we go matt calgon take me away only americans who are old will remember that <laughs> king is an i'm off to have a shower now if i miss the final spin i'm sorry you're more than welcome to do a shout out for me on your account on your next video goes up ahead uh, chat to you later buddy bye handsome speak to you later um matiety r.i.p calgon take me away only americans who are old will remember that um are you in america toji don't worry miles you won't miss the final spin toji enjoy your shower miles Right, let's keep checking this temperature. There we are at 32.7. Oops. Matt, yes. Ah, where, 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 which part of the States are you in, mate? King is an overseas. Cheers, Toji. Where's Alex gone? I, Alex hasn't made a comment for ages. Uh, 25 minutes left, you guys. New York. Oh my God, he's in New York. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're dropping your oranges. I love New York. Uh, I've obviously been to Manhattan. I've also travelled to Tarrytown, Sleepy Hollow, and then we and then we had our holiday then in upstate New York, um, just outside of Buffalo. Yep, that's how I talk. <laughs> Quaffy. Uh, where where in New York do you live? Morgan, Dorian, I have a question for you, fire away. Washing boy, try ace detergent. Uh, 
Yes, I will. I've still got shed loads of detergent to get through first. Toji, Dorian, could you you could use medic rinse with your bedding whenever you have bedding to wash? Uh yeah, I could do. Um, Matt, oh, very cool. You've been all over New York. No, not really, mate. Um, I've only been a tourist. Um, but uh, no, there's there's still a uh, god. You can live in New York for years and never get to see everything. The, the the entire state of New York is, I don't know how many times the size of the UK. Washing boy, wash them LG. Yep. Oh, okay. So it's emptying, and it got to thirty-three point one degrees for the medic rinse. I thought it would have got hotter than that, to be honest. Morgan, ah, uh, are you Welsh? You sound like you have got the accent. Oh my God, yes, I'm bloody Welsh, and I, I'm from Swansea originally. I'm as Welsh as they come, I'm as Welsh as a leak. Final spin, 1400 RPM, yes. Told you you better stay online because I don't want any balancing issues. Uh, Matt, Brooklyn boy, currently on Long Island. Oh. Edward, I see New York regular. I just look at Big Apples while shopping. <laughs> Morgan. Thought so. Oh, Long Island. Creators of the Long Island iced tea. <laughs> uh, washing by, please, LG spin, yes. I love New York. Oh, no, Toji, that is not going to balance. Uh, Morgan, do you go to Wales? Yeah, I go there frequently. Well, not this year. I haven't been frequently, but um, I do go a couple of times a year. Going to be spending Christmas there this year. Uh, apple cake make video. Washing boy, are you going to do an apple cake make video? Uh, no, I've got a mint mint slice cake um, that Happy Lux is going to be making soon. Um, Matt, yes, Long Island iced tea. Tea is yum. I like I like Long Island iced tea, but just without the alcohol. <laughs> I'll have a virgin Long Island, please. The funny thing is, though, I mean, New York is like any city. If you go there as a tourist, then you know any city is is wonderful, amazing, fantastic. It's when you live there, when you have to work there, when, you know, after a couple of years of trudging around and everything, that's when you really, really get to feel the real New York. Going there as a tourist is nothing compared to actually living there or being born there. Washing by, how long have you lived in the UK? Well, I'm 44 years old and I've lived in the UK for... 37, 38 years. So I've lived in the UK for 38 years, but I'm 44. Work it out. Jake, what time is the live stream tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow it's going to be earlier, so it's going to be around 2 p.m. Matt, I worked there for years, and what you say is true. Yes, because I used to live in um, in London, and I used to work and live in London, and it was sort of like, oh, London, 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 when we went there as kids and visiting family and wherever. You're there as a tourist, you have your spending money, but when you actually work there and you have to get up at five o'clock in the morning and take the bloody subway, or you know, you take the, the train, you take the tube, and it's just full of people constantly, 24-7, and it's just cars everywhere. And it, it, that shine wears off pretty quick. And it's the same in, I would say, in any city. Uh, Matt, worked in Manhattan, I mean. Yeah. Toji, I want to move to London City when I'm older. Should, definitely. 
it's a good experience i really highly recommend it um i think the only city that never really got to me like london did um was bogota when i lived in colombia in bogota i mean that is a, a huge city two thousand three hundred doscientos dos mil trescientos metros más cerca de las estrellas 2,300 meters closer to the stars. That's the city theme. Um, but that city never got to me as much as London did. Morgan, did you see my first video, Samsung EcoBubble Brick Smash? Oh, uh, I can't remember. I'll have to go back and have a look. told you the city views is amazing at night on the london eye plus i absolutely love cities yeah me too um i don't think i could live in one unless i was very rich if i won the lottery and money was no object city life would be fun any city in the world if you have money is fun working for a dime making ends meet is not Morgan, God, best time of my life. Now it is knocking a bit, so it is slightly unbalanced. It's doing its spin, but it's not entirely balanced because it's making a slight knocking sound. So this spin is actually a bit louder. No, exactly. Uh, true, most people who work in Manhattan could never afford to live there, unless your name is Trump or Vanderbilt. Or Getty. Toji, I could move to where Brandon, a.k.a. Florence Ballant, A3060 is. Morgan, knock knock, who there? LG, LG who? LG and balance load who? Yeah, that is slightly unbalanced. It's making a horrible knocking sound. This is not a very quiet one. It's quiet, but it's not as quiet as normal. Just checking the glass temperature and it's still showing 31.4 degrees. King is a new seat. Hello, I'm back. My God, that was a quick shower. That's what happens when you're slim. Showers are very quick. In and out and you're wet. Morgan, where's Hubby Lux? He's in the living room watching TV. King is a new seat. What did I miss? Not much. We are on 13 minutes left. This is the final spin. It's not entirely balanced. As you can hear, there's a slight knocking. Morgan, how is he? He's fine. He's absolutely hunky-dory. That is not a nice spin. You're dropping your oranges. Matt, if that's the rule, my shower should be 30 seconds. I'm very thin. <laughs> you lucky bugger. Morgan, have you got an iPhone or an iPad? Uh, yes, I do. I got both. I'm reading your comments on my iPad. I'm watching the video and I'm videoing on my 10x max uh yes i think they're knocking willies yeah when it ramps i hope so anyway washing boy will you do more duvet wash live streams um i've done all the duvets now i don't need to do it for a while but i will do one when i need to toji i'm trying not to go for a shower until this bloody live finishes yeah we've only got 12 minutes mate 
I'm not going to be doing any drier videos or anything. I'm going to end the video, stick the oven on and put the pizzas in. I don't like this spin. I don't like. Bloody loud. <clears throat> Just a knocking. King is Nooses, where's my pizza? Get your ass over here and I'll make your pizza anytime you want. Morgan, there is something you can do if you if you turn brightness off when you go in dark. It goes dark when go in light when bright. Yeah, I've got the um, automatic um, screen brightening function on. Uh, Matt, what time will tomorrow's live stream be? Uh, it's going to be around 2 p.m. GMT. <clears throat> so it'll be early in the morning for you. But again, the live stream is going to be about another, like, three hours. So um, hopefully you can come and join us at some point tomorrow, my friend. It would be lovely to have you on there. Yes, just subscribe five hours. Uh, oh my god, he's back, Alex. Mm, my Domino's Mighty Meaty has just arrived. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, bitch! That's 9 a.m. here. I'll be up. Hey! Matt's gonna be here tomorrow. Matt's gonna be here tomorrow. He's gonna have his coffee. Gonna have a cup of coffee and then come and join the live stream. That was the crap accent. Um, <laughs> Alex, I'm a good little boy now. You're only for one. You're still a nasty bitch. <laughs> I don't know, I'm only joking. Uh, Dave, I had a sizzler hot. I bet you did, you filthy minx. Ma'am, Morgan, I'm here tomorrow. Excellent, see you tomorrow. Okay, now we're going to be ramping up to the 1400. Let's see how it goes. It's eight o'clock and I'm starving. Oh, Alex. Mm, all this meat in my mouth. I'm in heaven. Bitch, please. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Dave, the bells. Yep. I can't do the voice because it might offend people. Um, Matt, lol, accent wasn't bad. <laughs> Quaffy. When we stayed with our friends up in Buffalo, they live, um, in, well, they live, they moved now, but they lived in um, Fredonia, just south of Buffalo. And um, we were there for Thanksgiving. So you'll have to go back, if you can, um, Matty, if you go back and check on my playlist, Hoover Looks Abroad, you'll see all the videos that I made when I was in America, when I was in upstate New York. And um, so we were there for Thanksgiving. So all the family of the friends we were staying with came over. And um, uh, part of the family, they're New York Italian. Oh my God, the accent. I was like, I said to Patty, Patty was one of the ladies. I said, Patty, I said, I could listen to you talk day and night. She had a really strong New York accent. And I was like, I could listen to you day and night. It's like listening to an episode of The Sopranos. <laughs> oh God, it was so funny. I sounded like such an idiot, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, Morgan, I'm here tomorrow. Wasn't bad. King is new seas. I won't be able to join tomorrow because I'll be off to Banbury to film my Nan's Hoover Link. Ooh, Banbury. I've been to Banbury. Uh, Morgan, you may you read my last comment? Yeah, I missed it. Yeah, yep, that's the one I read. Tomorrow, I'm going to be there. 
uh, wash your body going to do more dark wash dream videos uh, I'm going to be doing some filming because I need to do some filming for washy Wednesday so um, there's a couple of videos I'm going to be doing next week because I have loads of washing to do so I'm going to be filming them as washy Wednesdays which won't be the live stream we'll only have the chat of me in the beginning um, but I want to do these Bulgarian detergents um Alex, what else did you get up to in America? Girl, wouldn't you want to know? Uh, Matt, okay, oh cool, I'll check out those videos. I'm also New York Italian, lol, Sopranos. <laughs> I said I, I sounded like an idiot. Um, Morgan, what time? Uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow, uh, Matt Sopranos. It's just that sort of like strong accent. It's just like so associated with New York from movies and programs and things. It's kind of like, you know, that's New York. That's a New York. That's what they talk in New York. I'm not making around. You're just going to New York. Matt, you didn't sound like an idiot. Thank God. I was, I was hoping I had offended you. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, Morgan, finished by 6.30. Washy boy, do live washy Wednesday. Oh, God, no, no. The live videos are enough for me on the weekend and all the other stuff I have to do with the vacuums, so... Now it's quiet. 1,400. 32.7 degrees. 90.1 Fahrenheit for all my friends in New York. Yep, very quiet. Uh, Morgan, do a start of the dryer tomorrow. Um, maybe, possibly, I will, yes. Oh my god, this is why I love this machine, it's so quiet. Matt, very quiet now without the pump, I know, tell me about it. My next washing machine is going to be a direct drive. It's going to be with the um, recirculatory system. And it's going to have a DC pump. Whatever the opposite to this one is. Morgan, never regret buying LG. So far, so good. But I've only had it eight months. So, you know, that I've only had it eight months. So, and I try and take good care of it. But you never know. It could, you just never know. Touch wood. You never know. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I wanna be a part of it New York, New York I wanna mm, mm, make it there I'll make it anywhere It's up to you New York, New York There we go, that's my singing for the done. Morgan, my one is one month old. Matt, good then. When you choose the model with all those attributes, I'll just buy the same one. <laughs> oh, you have far more nicer machines over there, Matt. I tell you. I want one of those big ass massive 18 kilogram ones. Front loader. Applause for the song. <laughs> Oh my god, you must think I'm nuts. Everyone else does. Everyone else is used to me. Okay, we're going down. Three minutes to the end. 
Time to turn on the lights. Cater wash. Um, I was looking at one of the cater washes, but um, I was told that they're absolutely rubbish, but I'd still like to try one. Uh, washing boy, please tell my Mr. Lux and Instagram mystery machine of LG. There we go. So now we are going to be doing the stepping motion to untangle the clothes. Hopefully, it doesn't seem to work very well on towels. Um, so I don't know if it is going to do it on this. But it does do it for a minute or two, so... Uh, pneumatic vacuum, you missed my comment. Oh god, sorry. Alex, have you ever thought of getting a classic old machine for daily use? Mmm, now that would be giving away the secret. I got the key, I got the secret. I'm not saying any more. Hint, hint, no more. Hint, hint, no more. No, we're not going to dislodge this today because of the towels. Right, I'm going to start getting everything prepped. I'm going to move this. Alex, I'm going to move my tea. <laughs> and my big box of dads that I had everything on. Don't forget, you guys, I have got a lovely Henry brand new in box waiting for you guys. So I can do a live unboxing when we reach 3,000 subscribers. So please comment, like, and subscribe. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, you know, selling myself. So please comment, like, and subscribe and share my videos because the quicker we get to 3,000 subscribers, the quicker we can get to unbox that Henry. And then I'm going to be announcing the next um, level that we're going to aim for. Oh, I like that song. So then what happens is it goes to, say, the end of cycle. I've never shown this before. It goes end of cycle. And then I open the door. And that will just, if in a second, you can see the steam coming out. And there we go. And then the machine turns itself off. Oh, yeah, I can definitely feel the steam. Right, so let me get, everyone loves looking at my washing basket. So this is my washing basket. Ooh. Oh. Right, okay. The shirt. It smells very fresh. Um. This is the um, softener that I use, so I'm just going to sniff that. I can't overly smell the softener. But it does smell fresh. It's not overly fragranced, but it does smell nice. The laundry is warm, coming out. Now I'm looking for the hand towel that had the stains on it. No comment, Alex. Uh, so this is it. This is the one that had the stain, and I'll prove it. Hang on a second. Let's just pull out the rest. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm dropping my shorts. So this had stains on the bottom of the leg. Coffee stains, and they have come out. There is absolutely no trace of the stain at all. It has completely gone. So that's really good. Hmm. Now, these shorts were absolutely covered in skiddies. 
No, they weren't. I'm, <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> They've come out really nice as well. Right. That's another big towel. That's another big towel. That's another bad towel. T-shirt. That's just pajamas. My panties, my Calvin Kleins, they've come out clean. I love my Calvins. More pajamas, flannel. I wash flannels very frequently so they don't get. Um... Right, so there was two hand towels that I put in. Uh, one of the hand towels, so there we go. That is the label that I cut off, right? So if you saw at the beginning of the video, this was the one that I didn't have any stains on. I've just done that myself. Now this is the one that had the stains on it. And nothing. Completely gone. Hmm. So very good. That really did do a good job. There we go, it's empty. Right, okay, let's have a look at the comments because... Uh, 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 let me turn you round, let me turn you round. Hey, kitty girl. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you've got another machine, not common, nomadic vacuum, ooh. Uh, Matt, nuts is good. I couldn't relate to you otherwise. Mm -hmm. You definitely joined the right channel here. Uh, washing by, yay. Hi, Charlie Reviews. Hey, Charlie, how are you, my friend? Hey, hey. Uh, Matixity, nice end of cycle tune. Yeah, I like the cycle town. Cycle tune. Uh, Dave, Andy is waving goodbye. Huh? Who's Andy? Uh, washing boy, nice and clean towels. Yeah, they come out good. The coal master, every time I put my phone on, I see you washing, whizzing around. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we're drying. Uh, no, I'm gonna hang on, on the line. Stains massive. Mm -hmm. Um, oh my god. Hello, subscribe to my channel. I can't see, I can't read that. I don't even know what language it is. Uh, let's go and have a look at this channel. Uh, Oh, he likes lots of washing machine videos. Let's have a look at your uploads very quickly. Oh, yeah, he does have one there. Oh, no, that's liked. Okay, let's go back. Uh, Toji, thank you very much for yet another amazing, entertaining live stream. Can't wait for tomorrow's one. Thank you very much. So there we go. I'm going to disappear now. So I would just like to say a great big thank you to all of you for your support for everything I do on the channel. I am going to try and do a few more um, vlogs for you guys because uh, you guys seem to like it. So if you would like to sort of like me talk about certain topics, anything at all, please let me know on Instagram or on email. Um, and then when I do vlogs, then I'm not going to be sort of like flummoxed for things to say. So if you have questions or you want to know more stuff or you want me to chat about something, please, please, please send me a, uh, an email. Contact me on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, just, yeah, just message me. My, I'm letting my hair grow a little bit now. It looks a bit better. Um, so yeah, so please do, and I'll do some more live streams, and I'll answer your questions as well in them. But I'll join you again tomorrow. We're not going to be that far away. We're not going to be that long until we do another live vlog tomorrow at 2 p.m. So I'm going to be doing for Washing Boy. I don't normally do requests, but I, I do need to do the dog toys. So all the dog toys. Hang on, let me put, let's put some light on me. Oh, that's a bit harsh. <gasps> Girl, that's a bit harsh. Where's the filter? There we go. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do another live stream. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. Uh, so I'm going to be doing another live stream tomorrow at 2 p.m. So come and join me while we do another. We're going to do a baby care cycle this time with the dog toys. So. I'm going to say goodbye. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Share my videos. And thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye, y'all.